Hello, hello, Shagat the Known here. Welcome back to Genshin Impact here on the 16th of August 2022, local time 1633. Um, I said I was going to rebuild the Jade Chamber. That's in my description and everything. But when I booted the game, Paimon was like, hey, didn't Mitoburu say he wanted to meet with us? I, I guess. It was called the Final Treasure, I think. There's a couple other things we want to check out too first. Um, like the the little puzzle things that are going on in uh, Mondstadt. 
So that's something. Uh, let's take a look at the final treasure, wherever that's at. Here it is. He seems to have some request or another. Talk to him and learn the details. We have six days to do it. It's worth 200. It's kind of mediocre. I mean, it's not bad, but um, like the official one was worth like 300. Well, I say official. It's definitely related more to official, but I'm, I'm talking about the, the play where you had to watch like an hour worth of a play. <laughs> that was worth, I think, 300. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably take a look at it. Just go ahead and get it over with, and hopefully it's not too terribly long, so then I'll get back to the Jade Chamber after that. But uh, the first thing I want to do here is actually get back to the dude that's got the little puzzle thing. He's right here, isn't he? Yeah. So let's solve a little gear. Uh, I think we'll have two gear puzzles because there should have been one for yesterday. Doggo! What's up with you, friend? All right, let's restore some mechanical painting parts. All right, yeah. So there's only one more after this. That's not bad. Um, we'll see if this one's interesting. They've been getting progressively more complex. Wait, did that just get placed there? No. I feel like it just faded in. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, upper level. So on the upper level, we have both of the... Or no, I'm on lower level. Excuse me. Lower level, we have both of these. So then this one is upper level. This one's actually a duplex one. So it's got a, a small one on the lower level. So we could probably connect that right up with like a medium. And then we need somewhere to put, we need to convert the upper level momentum here into lower level with the duplex, I imagine. Um, so that'll work. And then number two, can't do that. We could try medium. No. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go to number five. Put a large there, and then number four, we'll put a medium. No. Mm, let's see. I wonder if I could put a large on number four. I can. So then number two, if we put a medium, is that... Yeah, there we go. Easy. I love it. All right, next part. All right, let's get a, a feel for what's happening here. Everything's on the lower level. There's no duplexes, but they gave me duplexes. So there may be a need for that. There's actually two duplexes. So if they want me to use one, we'd probably go here. And then number one, we would do a medium. Now I'm just wondering why I would need Oh, shit. Well, that works too, but we'll do a medium on number one. Um, number three, you could try to put like a... Yeah, small is not going to work. Medium's going to be too big. Number five, we can only do a small on number five. Let's remove number three here. So the number four would be... Hmm... So I have another duplex here. I don't think this gets me what I want, though. What I basically need is a, a large on the upper level or something. Like that. But then the problem I'm running into... Yeah, the problem I'm running into here is that I can't... Hmm. I can't put the duplex here, can I? I can! Oh, but yeah, because it's flipped. Okay, it's not too bad. It's You gotta, like, think about how they overlap each other, so it's a pretty interesting uh, mechanic. Yeah, no pun intended. Alrighty, so that's easy enough. Let's go to the quest, the final treasure. Dropping in a quest with like six days left or seven days if it came up yesterday, that's pretty uh, pretty tight timing. And as much as I like this game, I gotta complain about something like that because 
people who have busy work schedules or something. You know, my last job, a lot of people traveled and they'd be gone for like an entire week at a time. It's really hard for people like that to be able to keep up with something that, you know, maybe they only give you six days to do it. But if you're on travel for, you know, four or five days for work, you may not be able to play. So I do take issues with... I, I don't really like the limited time thing in general. I can understand how the banner works and I guess I can accept it. They give you a pretty decent amount of time on the banner, but banners don't really require a time investment like a quest. All right, so we are 11 minutes in, 11 and a half. Let's see how long this takes. Ahoy, here you are. I thought you'd be too busy flying around the islands with those wings of yours. Bet you've long forgotten your old mate Mitoboru sitting there slowly soaking away in the ocean. Yep. I mean, no. It's not that important. Remember when you helped me find the missing pieces of my body. Well, he says body isn't it's bo body. It's an interesting way he How says it. Can I put it? I'm not sure if it's because I fulfilled my wishes, or if these waters are slowly diminishing my ability to talk. Recently, I find myself sleeping most of the time, rather than staying conscious. Is it because the machine was turned off? I see. So it's because of some contraption that I became your wave rider and could communicate with you. Oh, does that mean that once the effects of the machine wear off, Mitaburu won't be able to talk anymore? We gotta do something before it's too late! Ha <laughs> ha! There'll be no need for that, Paimon. I am quite content that I had the chance to talk to you at all. Arr. The more I think about it, for me as a ship, to have gotten to talk to you in the past few days, it really is a wondrous thing. The stuff dreams are made of. But no, I need to ask you for one more favor. What you want? Tell Remember us. Remember when I told you that once we found my body, I'd take you for a cruise? Well, it seems my body was reduced to a slew of sorry shipwrecks. You know, I was about to make just the, the little side comment, little joke, like, what do you want to go for a joyride or something? I mean, it doesn't seem far off so far. And most of the treasure was taken away, leaving nothing good for you. But this time... I swear, as a mighty pirate ship, there be treasure ahoy, and a fine treasure at that. Or else may I be strangled by seagrass and fed to the fish. Just trust me one last time. So remember this flower in Lumine's hair? I want to make a comment about that. Well, since Mitsuburu probably won't be able to speak soon... And since there really is treasure this time, let's go! Paimon, you never change. Time to set sail! Ah, come on then, me hearties. Time to come aboard. Okay, so the other day when I was finishing up things in the chasm is when we learned there was a flower there, and that flower, I forget what it was called now, but um, Danesliff told us about it. It was from, uh, uh, is it Kenareth? No, that's not right. Uh, Conria. It was from Conria, and basically the flower, if you take it out of Conria, it turns, like, to stone or something, basically, it doesn't die. But when it's in Conria, it has a very short lifespan, so if you take it back to Conria, it'll quickly die. Um, Lumine reacted and basically said, this is the same as the flower I've been wearing since I got here. And I was just curious, does Ether also have one? I, I don't know as much about like his design because I'm not playing as him. I mean, I see artwork of him occasionally, but I just, I don't know. So I'm wondering if he also has one or not. Um, and then it also makes me wonder, did Lumine have that flower on in the opening movie? But I guess the idea is that that took place in Conria, the opening movie where the cube god or whatever shows up. I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to check out if there's some consistency there or not. 
As you speak, the area around you becomes shrouded in fog. Whoa, spooky. Uh, why did it get so foggy all of a sudden? Oh, wow, look! There's a lot more lights on the sea! Those lights are from Inazuma. I haven't seen them for many a year. Follow them. They <laughs> look just like fishing lanterns. I feel like I'm back in the ported Seirai, with the fishing boats lining the harbor at night. Seirai is like super dangerous though. Um, you think in about 10 years or so we'll have um, purely AI voice acting? Like at a high quality level? Even pirates don't get to go on adventures every day. When he had free time, Zymon would take us out fishing. He would harpoon fish with his barbed spear. I never saw him miss once. I do wonder where he is now, but knowing him, I'm sure he would do everything he could to return to Sarah. We actually want to keep going this way. I thought we were going to stop at the boat. There's more lights here. Yeah, I think we're already at the point where we can generate some very convincing voices with AI. And we can replicate oh, oh, existing I voices. I've got two things to tell you. First of all, I've remembered my name. Wow. So, Mitsuboro? No, wait. Um, so, uh... Yo, Jimbo. Mr. Chip? What's your real name? The maiden of Asase Shrine named me Kosekimaru. Most of my mates were from Koseki Village, and she hoped I could take them back to their hometown. Kosekimaru. Hmm. Paimon still prefers me to Boru, but Kosekimaru is a nice name too. But I... I failed them. If only I could have been stronger, I might have been able to survive the thunderstorm and make it back to Koseki Village with my friends safe and sound. Yeah, so we can already generate very convincing voices with AI. We can replicate existing voices, and it's not 100% perfect yet, but... It's advancing at a very rapid pace right now. There's a lot of research going into it. I think maybe in the next 10 years or so, we can have high quality voice acting done entirely by AI, which is scary to a lot of people because it replaces jobs. I don't think it'll, it'll take a while before it completely can replace humans' roles. Um, interestingly enough, one of the first jobs that can and probably will be replaced by AI is actually software engineering. The very people who make AI are one of the first people who can be replaced by it much more effectively than replacing like manual labor jobs because that's actually a lot more difficult. In but a few breaths, thunder and lightning began racing across the skies. Sail through the thunderstorm. I'm going to drag everyone down with me. Come on, Mitsu! Uh, Kosekimaru, you can do it! Sail through the thunderstorm, Kosekimaru! It's his redemption arc. That's what it is. Get away from the thing. RIP! Uh, you're right. I am the proud Kosekimaru. Pirate ship under the command of the mighty pirate, Ako Domiki. The wood of Seirai made me flesh and bones, and the shrine maiden of Asase gave me my name. I have sailed the seas for decades, never once leaving me friends behind. Even when fighting the strongest foes, I never feared nor faltered. A little thunder and lightning can't stop me! Ha! Watch me breeze through it. What a champ! Now what? Over here? He wants to hop out? Whew. That was close! Paimon was sure we were gonna sink! Way to express your confidence in his ability to, you know, navigate through the storm and save us and keep us alive. Kosekimaru, you're amazing! Oh, a talking ship is still just a ship. The Traveler's superb sailing skill was what saw us safely through the storm. Do you want to go again? <laughs> I'd rather not. 
I'm afraid I may have triggered the thunderstorm. These waters are less stable than they once were. But we've arrived. Traveler, Paimon, the treasure is right up there. Isn't this the place we first visited when we were looking for treasure? There is nothing here but half of Kosi Kamaro's hole. I am certain that there's treasure up there this time. It's... What did I call it again? It's the intuition of a mighty pirate ship. Wait a minute. You said you had two things to tell us, right? And the first one was that you'd remembered your name. What was the other one? I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I thought you'd already forgotten. I'll tell you when you come back. Surely the treasure should be near Kosi Kamaro's shipwreck. Let's go uh, and check it out. I was actually going to comment that I thought this was a place that we went to before. Because I, I feel like I remember talking on that rock to Mitoburu slash Kosi Kamaru. I'm going to forget that name. I felt like I was climbing really fast for a moment and then it slowed down. This will take a moment. All I gotta do is get around this little lip here if I can. Nope. Alright, here we go. Should be able to make- oh god. What's going on? My mouse is doing weird stuff. It like lagged and then I wasn't able to properly control the camera. Not- I'll say the game lagged. Not the mouse, the game lagged, and then I wasn't able to properly control the camera. Weird. Alright, I should be able to rest up here. Four, three, two, one. I tried to jump and it did not work. glowing it's a model of a ship it's him I imagine it's called storm braver also I have my obligatory sneeze incoming I didn't want to continue because I was going to say in before he can no longer talk now. We found the treasure. Look, it's a model pirate ship. Your intuition finally worked this time. So, what's the other thing you wanted to tell us? Oh shit. I was right. Kosekimaru? The ship named Kosekimaru does not respond. Kosekimaru can't speak anymore. Kumaru, you're a big fat liar. And that was that. So that was quick. That was only about 12, 13 minutes. Um, yeah, I, I saw that one coming because they already set it up by saying that he's losing the ability to speak. And uh, it's kind of sad. I mean, it's a ship. It's not like a, a, a regular person. But it's still kind of sad. Um... I, the way that Paimon, what really tipped me off on that was the how excited Paimon was. Was like, Kosekimaru, Kosekimaru, like just that first line when we got back to him, that tipped me off. I was like, oh, yep, that. She's too excited. That's setting it up. All right, so that's not bad. Um, I got enough time to go do my daily stuff before we get back to the Jade Chamber. Might as well. We got two right here by each other. I love that. 
Okay, I might as well do this before going back to the Jade Chamber stuff because, well, why not? This stuff uh, gets me those uh, keys and all that, all that good ish. Let me make sure I don't have a key to claim. I don't. Okay. Oh, it is going to be a two-rounder. I kind of hate two-rounders. I, I like knowing that when I kill all the enemies that it's just done. Where you is. Eye for an eye. Alrighty though, we good. Done with these in no time. So the other one is just over this way. No need to warp. It's close enough. What is it the Dawn Winery? It was like right on the Don Winery. I should be healed up, but let's do this anyway. Apparently not. Because it did the whole animation thing. Lynn's troubles again? Oh, what? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Dust. It's because I ran my stamina too low. When it's red, you can't you can't open your wings. What are you doing here, Traveler? I'm out looking for berry, but not having much luck so far. Could you help me? I only need two berries. Sure. Great, I'll keep looking around here in the meantime. When you're done, come and see me. Found anything yet? Yep. Perfect. This is for you. This... <laughs> Ah, that was difficult. I thought we were never going to finish that. Alright, let's just climb back up here. It'd probably be faster to warp, but let's just climb back up here. That is... yeah, that's too much of an angle. So we want to go over here. There's also like a, uh, not a cooldown per se, but like a, there's a limit to how much, I swear something got mad at me, whatever. There's a limit to how much you can use from these things and it does take time to replenish uh, the healing. Just prevents you from uh, relying too much on it. So what actually, let's actually, let's talk to it and we can see. Um, how do we see it? A statue's blessing. Here it is. Rest, uh, restorative power is 62,000 out of 85. So it recharges over time. So if you're dying a bunch, you can actually wear down that statue. And you won't be able to rely on it for, uh, for free healing. Wouldn't it be funny if I did the same thing again? I think the answer that would have saved me would be if I had interrupted with one of these. up at dawn. Oh no, what are we going to do? Adeland is totally going to freak out. What's up? So Adeland asked us to tidy up the area around the winery. Most places were fine, but there are all these haystacks lying around. Connor said he's storing them here because he needs them for something. They're bound pretty tightly, so at least they didn't get blown away in the wind. But still, a load of leaves got blown in among the hay. We worked really hard at it, but we still didn't manage to get all the leaves out. 
If we keep on at this pace, the head housemaid Adeline is going to freak out. What are we going to do? Uh, allow me. Seriously, you're awesome. Thanks. So, I have to switch characters, don't I? It's one where you have to, like, blow him away with Animo or something. Yep. That doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, I hate when they make me switch characters to do something like this. Wait, what? Did I just not do enough? There we are. Ooh, can I get a two for one here? Where is another pile? Not over there? Okay. Oh, it's around the hay. So that's your... Blue? Oh, you can use Animo to blow all the leaves out from the haystacks. Not a bad idea. How'd it go? Did you get them all? Every last one. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. Awesome. Traveler, you're the best person ever. Thanks, now Adeline won't be on our backs. Please, take these as our thank you gift. Right, we've got other places to clean now. Thanks again, see you. You know, you could have been cleaning while I was doing that. Could have also swept them if you weren't gonna do anything. Not that I mind, you gave me free stuff. Well, I guess it's not free if I worked for it. Temple of the Lion? Yeah, there's actually stuff for me to do there. I noticed there was a, uh, like, not a quest thing, like a, a challenge thing in my books where it was like, complete the Temple of the Lion, blah, 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 whatever, melt, vaporize, all that. What's up, asshole? Wait for Oz because that'll blow up the shield. I was about to say, I hope he dies. Like, I, I knew he was still alive when I switched to official, but it took a moment. takes us way up here. I like it. Oh, this is something I pointed out before. I don't think that island. It's another one. Um, but I think this is the beach where you go out there. Okay, no, I think that's that island. Yeah, so maybe that... That doesn't seem right. Um, there's an island way out there, and you gotta, like, Freeze walk your way there because it's too far to swim. You should be able to take the wave racer there, the wave rider. What's that red thing over there? Well, I was just going to teleport, but now I got to see that red thing. Yo, what's going on? How you doing today? Let's 
good to see you again. I was going to mention something you said yesterday um, that you have been programming since you were eight. That is impressive. Uh, there's a lot of people who do that kind of stuff, who uh, basically do it all their lives. I was always interested in computers, but I never really did programming. Uh, I, I mean, I grew up with computers, though, and I always thought they were fascinating. I was the, the only one in the family that knew how to do anything. <laughs> Your dad was a programmer, okay. That makes sense then. Early exposure in that case. I was about to say, I don't trust this man. No, I think he's fine. <laughs> The game has conditioned me to just assume anyone that shows up is an enemy. Okay, no, that is the island. Okay. There's like a challenge way out there, but it's hard to get to. You used to doodle code when you were three? Damn. I think there's gonna be... Well, it's interesting. I actually just mentioned this earlier in some ramblings. Uh, where I... Interestingly enough, one of the first jobs that can be replaced by AI is actually coding. And that's that's not like a new idea. That's been known for a long time because it's easier to replace something like coding than it is a, a manual job. Um, and some of the tools out there are already exceedingly impressive. If you look at what GPT-3 can do with coding, and I love throwing things at GPT-3 and trying to make really obscure prompts and like write a code, write me some code that does this and that. And I try to make it really obscure and it's really good at doing it. Like in my case, you know, it's like write some Rust code that generates seven random polynomials of varying degrees and computes the second derivative of each one, but also print out the words, I'm a potato each time, or so, like, and it does it. Like, it's very impressive what it's able to do. Um, and, and that's now, and it's, it's already that advanced. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to see where things go in about the next decade. The other thing I was thinking about is, uh, like voice acting and stuff, where we already have extremely impressive and advanced uh, voice synthesis and we can very easily copy somebody's voice and it's not perfect but it's really good and so I think it's gonna be interesting to see uh, what happens with like voice acting and stuff in general I don't think it's gonna be an immediate overnight replacement of humans but I think you're gonna see a trend especially on like indie games and stuff as those tools become more available you're gonna see a trend of people having like very high quality voices that are all purely synthesized by AI. And I, I think it's gonna be an interesting time over like the next decade or so. All right. Um, where do we need to go? Right, so the problem I ran into last time was, uh, let me get the quest thing up. The problem I ran into last time is that the quest I'm doing... Wait, is this also the chasm? What? I thought we finished all that stuff. Well, we'll see. Um, go to the middle of the lake. So the lake is over here. And it said there was a problem with, uh... Xiao? No, not... Or was it Xiao? Somebody was involved in some other quest. So I'm gonna have to look at that other quest before I can continue this. Let's see what that is. Hereafter, the Trail of Pervases. Um, and yeah, you... Uh, you almost have to. So... The thing is, the idea... First of all, I mean, this goes up on uh, a YouTube, so I want to provide commentary regardless. Um, second of all, you have to consider it from the perspective of if you're going, if you're going to somebody's stream and it's just completely silent, 
that kind of discourages a lot of people from sticking around. Um, one of the key things that you'll see is regardless of how many people are chatting or how many people are active or anything, you should kind of always be talking and providing commentary about what's going on. Think of it like YouTube or something where you know that you're not talking to somebody in real time. That's, um, Cloud... I always forget the name. Cloud... not Cloud Ruler. That's Elder Scrolls. Um, we just talked to that person the other day, too. Anyway, let's see what Zhao has to say. Uh, what kind of stuff are you gonna... are you trying to stream? Let's see. I'm really bad, like, I, I have such a busy schedule, it's hard for me to watch streams, but... I'll, you know, no promises, but I'll try to stop in sometime. But it's just, it's really hard for me to get time to, like, just sit down and watch a stream. Because I've always tried to juggle, like, 18 different tasks. <laughs> um, why are you here? Are you here to see Pervases as well? I was just passing through. What are you two here for? We're here to see Pervases. Ah, but this place is in as much a mess as last time. There's a temple here, and a statue too. Why doesn't anyone come to maintain this place? Perhaps this place has been forgotten. How can people forget something like this? The Yakshas are heroes who defend Liyue Harbor. Chao, are, are you angry? No, the Yakshas did not perform their duty for any form of recognition. And let's not talk about this stuff right now. Grilled tiger fish first. Uh, and if you want to have some, Jiao, we can give you half of our share each. It's fine. Help! Help me! Huh? Did you hear that? There's someone calling for help. Is it going to let me use Zhao? Uh, hey, what about the grilled tiger fish? Paimon hasn't eaten yet. Too bad. <laughs> Sometimes you get to use, uh, like the quest character as like a... You know, just a quick little guest. I feel like this is unnecessary for two hilly churls. Yeah. I could have just hit them once and they would have died. Thank you, almighty oh Adeptus. Thank you, mighty hero. Oh, what are the odds? We meet again. You know us? Oh, why? Okay, ass shot. I do recognize this, though. Um, this was the guy who was faking as being uh, one of the Yaksha or Adeptus or something. You know us? How could I forget you? You're... I'm Wang Ping'an. Don't you remember me? Ah, Star Snatcher. What? Star Snatcher? Please, let's not bring that up. Not in front of the Adeptus. I was just getting ready to make an offering at the Temple of the Yaksha, Pervases. But not long after I entered the mountains, I was set upon by those treasure hoarders. They, that, those were hilly churls, not treasure hoarders. Thank you for saving me. Wait a moment. What were you going to do at Pervasi's temple? Were you planning to do something bad to his statue? No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Then what were you planning to do? I, I wanted to restore the temple. My plan today was to closely examine the temple's current condition and arrange for the purchase of the appropriate materials. I never expected to be targeted halfway by treasure hoarders and forced to flee. But as I ran, I lost my way. As for the rest, you know what happened. Well, let's speak further at the temple. Right, this is hardly the place for conversation. Let us go to the temple first. We'll speak there. Go, I have other things to handle. Yo, he just booked it. Hey, you leaving already? And he's gone. So yeah, some casual programming tech and philosophy. Um, yeah, I mean, all that... I mean, I think I mentioned yesterday, you know, so I have degrees in philosophy and computer science, so definitely all up my alley. Um, philosophy is such a broad topic, too, that I think is really interesting because a lot of people probably don't realize how much they would be interested in philosophy because they might have, like, one understanding of what it is, not realizing that it's such a broad field and can kind of address almost anything you want it to. 
So it's actually, I mean, again, there's a reason that I got drawn into it when I really discovered it. Yeah, that could be a lot of fun. Um, you know, getting people that are interested in those kind of topics, like having real discussions, having genuine discussions on, uh, on like real topics like that. Uh, I think there's definitely a place for that. This temple's in a terrible state. All right, mister, where did you suddenly get the idea to come and fix this temple? Hey, well, that's a long story. Back when I was pretending to be an adeptus, I gathered a lot of resources to help me keep up the act. But remember how I swore to do good after that adeptus taught me a lesson? Well, after I returned, I was planning to destroy all those materials of mine. But then I had a thought. Rather than destroying all this information, wouldn't it be better to write up my code of uh, charlatanry and share it with others? That way I can help others to see through scams and cheaters. To my surprise, the guidebook I wrote proved, proved helpful to a lot of people. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs said it was very useful. They even provided me with some additional scam countermeasures to add to the stuff that I'd written myself. To that end, they paid me a pretty hefty sum. Apart from that guidebook, I'm currently planning to write a book about the Vigilant Yaksha. Its purpose, of course, is to share the stories of the Vigilant Yaksha with as many people as possible. That way, I'll be able to put the folklore knowledge I possess to good use. As for this temple to Pervases, I discovered it while I was compiling material for the second book. I found sources saying that this temple was built by our forebears to remember the Yaksha, Pervases. But I never expected to find the temple in such a state of disrepair. When I returned and thought about it, I decided to fund the repair of this temple from my own pocket. After all, I too was guided back to the right path by an Adeptus. I suppose repairing the temple can be considered atonement for my previous wrongdoings. Mm, sounds genuine enough. What do you think, Shagath? Hmm. Sounds kinda genuine. What do you mean kinda? I am being genuine. 100% genuine. Oh, fine. Think whatever you like. If you don't trust me, then come back once work has started. You'll see. Oh! I'm actually glad it completed because I wanted to get back to the other quest. And I didn't want to leave another one, like, in, uh, partially incomplete. So that's perfect. So now let's look back at the Jade Chamber one. Go to the middle of the lake and see what it, see what's in store this time. That's the second time that uh, that quest there has kind of broken this main quest that I've been following. Very slightly annoying. I wish they would change that mechanic. Wait until evening around 17:30. Well, that's easy enough. Just stand in place for almost a full day. Also, it's really dark for 19, it was like 19 something. Felt like it was a bit later than that. I... Very nice view. I like it. Oh, there's Zhao right there. That's why he was... It was complaining that he was busy with another quest. So yeah, just to uh, reiterate on the other thing one more time, just because it may be helpful. Um, kind of just practice uh, narrating, like, almost everything you do. And get used to kind of, like, discussing it out loud as you do it. So if you're writing code, just kind of narrate it. And it may be a little awkward at first. Um... But you get used to it over time. And again, one of the things is that if you're like brand new to streaming or something and, and you know, you, you have no viewers or something, eventually somebody will show up and it may take a little while so I can actually see like my view counter and stuff. And I like I don't mind having that available in front of me so I know when people are kind of showing up or, or leaving or whatever. Um, some people turn that off because they find it distracting, but, um, the point is there is a delay, there is a lag on that, so you may not know that somebody popped in, and they may just see you sitting there in silence while you're doing something, and think, well, this is boring, I'm not gonna stick around, by the time you even know that they showed up. So, you kind of have to always be talking and always try, try to be doing something at least remotely entertaining or, or anything 
just to make sure that if somebody stops in, they have a reason to want to engage. You know, because they might stop in for 30 seconds, and if you're just sitting there in complete silence, they're like, oh, this, this is not interesting, and they'll just bounce. <laughs> I mean, this, the internet can be tough like that. Um, but, and that's one of the key things of advice, like, if you go look up, like, YouTube videos of, like, uh... What, what is this about? Oh, it's Subrosium. I thought we were supposed to talk to Zhao. Why is he here? Okay, we'll talk to him in a second. But yeah, the internet, that's this is how the internet can be, right? Uh, people have a short attention span. I think this was years ago. I think I remember reading that the uh, like the longest wait time people are willing to give to a website is like two seconds. And if they don't get results within two seconds, they assume it's broken and they'll go to another website. They'll they'll give up. So it's like people have very short attention spans. And uh, you just have to be be able to kind of uh, get around that by always, you know, providing some kind of entertainment. What brings you here? I don't know what brings you here, Shell. Found a solution to the danger in the sea. Uh, what danger in the sea? Nin Guang didn't tell you. Nope. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Zhao, what are you... Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. True. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's literally not there for the quest itself to progress, he's just there for extra lore. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, I do try. <laughs> It's always good to hear, though. It's a nice compliment. Thank you. I used to do... Um, it was never, like, a really large channel or anything by any means, but I used to do um, YouTube videos and streaming back in, like, 2014. So I got really used to it back then, and it was easy for me to fall back into the habit when I started this channel. Also, I found that I'm... Uh, I like to think out loud as well, so even just privately, I like to think out loud, <laughs> which is a little weird, maybe, um, but it, it helps me organize my thoughts. So basically thinking out loud is kind of what I do anyway, so just translate that to the stream. There's two things that I'll do. Um, I'll also pace. If I'm, like, really trying to work out a difficult problem or something, or I'm just really preoccupied by something, I will, like, pace around the kitchen or something. And there's actually... There's a lot of people who there are quotes attributed to. I think some of them are, like, I don't know, Thomas Jefferson or something, maybe Einstein. But there's a lot of quotes that are attributed to famous people that talk about how um, pacing is, like, when they really do their best thinking. <laughs> It's like, there actually is something to that. Um, if you, like, Google it, I believe there are some studies related to, um, like, why it is that if you kind of start to, not necessarily pacing, I should just say walking in general, that, um, walking seems to be a way to, to help people kind of work through difficult problems or, or clear their thoughts if they're trying to deal with something. So I will often find myself, uh, if I have, like, a program that I want to work on, and I'm trying to figure out what approach I want to take, I'll often find myself pacing around the kitchen and kind of thinking out loud, like, okay, what do I want to do? Well, I can make this, and it, just kind of working through the ideas. Yeah, it's, it's something, I don't know if relaxing is the word, but, um, what is the right word for it? I, I would say relaxing or comforting, but... Kind of the, the repetition of the pacing, it... Uh, how do I want to say it? Enlightening? Yeah, maybe. Um, I think part of what's going on for me is like... It's a very autonomous thing. It's it's a thing that you kind of just go into autopilot when you're pacing. And, and so it's like half of your body's just kind of doing something in autopilot. And then that prevents you from getting distracted by other things. 
I think that's part of why it works so well. Oh, goodness. Goodness. So, are they okay? They're perfect. This is some top yep. quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to shine. Hey everyone, how's the A-Team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. It's all good. Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. What was the third thing that we needed? It's been a couple days, I don't, I don't remember. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh -huh. You got this then? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. <laughs> There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you, and I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. Alrighty. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. Is that permitted? Master Zhang and Shen has start making the Wonder Cores and the Adepti sigils. I got you on that hydrate, by the way. The sigils are ready. <laughs> Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! How is anyone else going to have, like, the sigils and stuff, though? That's a pretty tall order. Alright, go to the Wonder... Uh, give the Wonder Cores and the Adepti Sigils to the Secretary. Alright, we can do that. Did I... Actually, yeah, let me cash this stuff in real quick. I forgot to do it. And I can get another key. I don't want to forget that because if like next time I play, next time I do my commissions, if I haven't cashed this in, they go to waste. So definitely want to do that now. Oh, it looks like it's coming along very nicely. Doggo, what's up, dude? Hello, friend. He'll follow us now. Oh, he usually will. Fine, be that way. <laughs> ah, I'm always torn. Like, I would love to get something like a dog. But... There's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. It would completely change my life. In a way that I'm not really... In some ways, I'm not really capable of doing that right now. Being away from the apartment... Um, 10 hours or so at a time on uh, days that I have to go to the office. Doesn't work out super well. Ningguang's little secretary! We found all the materials! Living an hour from the office doesn't help for sure. Oh! Already? All three of you found them together. Okay. I see. The Wonder Claws and Adepti Sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. 
Buy one calls for the participants together. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beidou. Yeah, so it gets to the issue from before where I, I don't know what they expect to happen here because we were told that the winner gets to ask this question. So is the idea that by tying that they'll just say, oh, it, all of you get to do it? Or, I, I mean, I feel like the correct answer would not be that we all get to ask a question, but that it still has to be a single one that we all have to agree on. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! I didn't see her. Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. Alright then, guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first! This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was ages ago. Yeah, it was like a year and a half for me. Almost. Why one leads you to the Jade Chamber? Ooh, I got an achievement. That's always fun. Are we going to see it rise up Combine now? Find the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Are we going to get a rare... Well, we'll wait and see if it happens, but I was wondering if we're going to get some rare voice acting. Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yun. So I have a question now. How do normal people get to the Jade Chamber? Because initially, I think we had to use like the little the wind tunnel things to fly up there. So how do... Not us. Like, how do normal people get up there? Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Just imagine like an 80 year old dude trying to come up here to see the opera or something. And he's got to put like a wingsuit on and fly up hundreds of feet into the air. Like it doesn't seem like a great way to get up here. Oh. The Traveler, Shenha, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. You're next. What is your question? The moment of truth. I should clarify. I do not know your brother's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. Up her nose is freaking out. Wow, you're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well, guess Paimon will ask a question then. I was getting nervous there for a moment. We we narrowly avoided spending the main character voice acting budget for six patches. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, an instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Wow, Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. <gasps> Come to Ningguang? 
I mean, that's a way to set up a future quest. No more questions from us. Shenhua, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably think of another one. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Huh. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it, it always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. Wise words. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beto! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. This is the, yeah, this is what Zhao was referring to. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. I forgot about the wound dressing stuff. Uh, the guy from the pharmacy mentioned that. Now it's it's clicking together. Something's going on, yeah. Glad to hear it. Watch They're prepping. Back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However... It's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. We'll just destroy another Jade Chamber, it's fine. Ningguang begins to prepare for liftoff. We gonna get a movie? When That'd I first cool. set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. It's a symbol of Liyue's prosperity, isn't it? I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. I'm smart. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Well, it's time for another fight with, like, a sea monster. Yo, this thing is mobile! Right on cue, the Avenger of the Vortex, Beisht. Who is that? Osile's wife final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, let's go fetch the Adepta! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone!
Damn. Boy, this dude is getting dunked on. Oh, she gonna freeze it? Gone you? God, Lumine, that didn't work out very well, did it? Holy damn. It's like a Dragon Ball Z moment, just getting slammed into a mountain. brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Are you just gonna retreat? Nah, get back. Is this opening up a domain? What's going on? Oh what are shit! You doing here? I can't let you be the only one taking this risk. My this is cool. This is a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. Uh to the death. I think I have the upper hand. I don't wanna Yeah, I wanna hear the dialogue. I was kinda killing the boss too fast. Avenger of the Vortex. I like it. Oh we got what is going on here? Three health bars. Napo oh multiple heads? Oh, get away from that. I will have order. Nice and spicy. No, I come back. I dropped the ball Stay on nice. Zhang Li's uh, shield. I would have done more damage. Okay, I see what's up though. Shield time. Okay, this boss is a, uh, a lot more interesting than I thought at first glance. First glance, it seemed like it was like, wait a minute, it's got half a health bar and it's almost, it's like just melting. It makes sense now, okay. This is cool though, I like this. I don't know how this works. We're like underwater, but we're not. Very interesting environment here, because there was like the maelstrom or the vortex going on. All right, who wants to throw down? Which head? You? Stabilize. 
I'll throw down with you. Oh, what's happening? All right, so it looks like we got two heads down, just one to go. Oh. Run! Damn it. Okay, I should have popped the shield, but I didn't know I was going to be attacked while that was happening. I got a little greedy trying to get uh, Oz out there, too. Come on, get closer. I'm trying to attack you. Oh, get away from that. All right. Where are you at? Over here? Stop playing these games. I should have shown her some. I kind of forgot. Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> that's really good. All right, who's next? Which one of you wants to come down here? That one's not taking damage, so I guess it's the wrong one. Alright, this should do the trick. There we are, Majesty of the Deep! This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. I wonder if that's a repeatable domain. That'd be interesting if you could do this one weekly. That was a cool boss, I like that. Cool, like, uh, lead up to it and everything as well. Really like that whole movie. Oh, no, not another one. Are you alright? I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? Pretty well, I guess. Can't complain. It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. <laughs> it didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Kuching's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Millilith, thank you for your service. I... Uh... Shinha protected us. Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust oh. you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You retain wish her. to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen he. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. 
One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Ning Wong's like, I'll just throw away the chamber that we just built. If, uh, if, like, I mean, I guess it's better than losing the whole city or something. Hence on balance. One finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shenhe. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago, and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shanhe. She is a dear child. In fact, one has many fond memories of Shanhe's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hm. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. It's like with Ganyu, where they were like, we're going to tell you all about Ganyu's childhood. Have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. I will. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Alrighty. Oh, Kaching is here. Let's see. The Melilis casualties are within the range we expected. But in hindsight, there were still flaws with our plan. If we'd had more time, we could have built a barrier here to absorb the impact of the waves. We must learn from this experience and never repeat the same mistakes again. We were fortunate to have your assistance this time. Thank you. What about you? Okay, you don't talk. Got it. Neither do you. Okay, you're not important enough. I see. <laughs> and we'll do this little mining here. Might as well. Uh, I had a thought that I wanted to mention, and I don't know if I remember it anymore. Oh, right. So I made the joke the other day because um, Cloud Retainer shows up, and... We, we called Cloud Retainer out, basically, like, oh, you came here, you were worried about Shinha, right? So you came here to check up, and it's like, absolutely not. There's merely another matter going on, and I wanted to check into that. That may actually have been the case, but I still think Cloud Retainer does care. Obviously, we just got the dialogue there, like, take care of Shinha. So we got dialogue there to, uh, you know, kind of make that connection that Cloud Retainer does care. But it's still, the other day, it was like... You know, the whole, like, meme, you know, is it gay to love your children or something? Like, the whole, like, toxic masculinity thing or whatever. I mean, it's the same kind of idea, the way that, that Cloud Retainer made it sound. Like, how dare you insinuate that I care about this person that I raised from childhood? What do we have here? Oh, this is one of the things that you uh, open up with, like, the, the keys or whatever. So it should already be open. I'll check it out real quick. So there is the new Jade Chamber. Where is... Where is Celestia? Boy, I think I just saw it. Yeah, it's over there. I think that's the name of it. I don't know where people got the name from. Maybe it was just in, like, the multi-year plan for the game. You know, someone butchered that fish. Damn. Let's 
so Jade Chamber chilling right there. Uh, where did it go? I just saw it. Really? Why am I blind? There it is. Way up there in the sky. Is that piece of that, whatever that is. The, like floating thing. I think is like the realm of the gods or something. I think is what I read. I just don't know how people know this about it. But apparently it's something we'll probably be able to see at some point in the future. Also, that boss is bound to come back in the future. Distinguished guests, I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Ms. Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform The Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Damn, I mean, I'm into music, and I, you know, I go to a lot of concerts and stuff, but I don't really get like that. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage! Silence. This could be full on opera, right? Oh.
think that's the first time there's been non-English. Personally, I thought I sang rather well. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, <clears throat> thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Li Yue Harbor. Thank you. Oh, I think I found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Oh, this man is Great drunk. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the How, illustrious what? traveler. Well, I'll be. This was definitely worth showing up for. Where did he get that idea from? Like, I mean, he's right, but how? Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat. Get better acquainted. He's just so hammered, right? That's all. <laughs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh-oh. This feels all too familiar. Shenhe's back to her old self again. Well, it seems she still has a long way to go. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Shenhe, calm down. <laughs> Alrighty then. Crane returns on the wind. Cool, got an achievement and everything. What's up, Shenhe? Hmm, now that I think about it, I'm glad Master sent me here to deliver the sigils. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you. I'm sure I have much to learn from you in the future. What about you, Yunjin? To act, one must first feel. Okay. After our trip to Mount Tianhong together, I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? I mean, that's assuming that we actually know the, the character like this time, but sure. Um, Ning Wang. You've made an exceptional contribution toward the building of the new Jade Chamber. Indeed. I will not forget this. I shall be sure to repay your kindness at an appropriate juncture. Um, Xiu. I wonder when I'll be able to build a Jade Chamber of my own. <sighs> It'll take a lot more wealth than I have now. Yeah, lofty goals. But hey, you've got to dream big. Who knows, if I keep working at it, maybe one day. I'm just gonna build a floating palace. Yeah, lofty goals. Good More luck with that one. Wine. More wine. Young Ye. Drinking and watching opera in the Jade Chamber. A rare and exquisite pleasure. Alright, that about does it for everybody here, I think. Talk to the guard or something. Uh, I'll poke around here a little bit, see if there's anything to find, like a treasure chest or anything. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. How may I be of service? Uh, hello there. Hello, I am Lady Ni I am Lady Ningwang's bodyguard. Oh, that's my title anyway. In practice, this is a clerical job roughly half the time. I was doing various odd jobs for a while before being roped back in here to my old post once the Jade Chamber was restored. What can you tell me about Ningwang? Ah, so you're another one of those who wants to find out about Lady Ningwang's secrets, are you? Unfortunately, I know no more than you do. Lady Ningwang has never been one to let her guards get too close. I'm only in this post in the first place thanks to my cousin. Bai Zhao pestered her about the idea constantly, and even then, she only agreed to it reluctantly. Your cousin? <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Keep it to yourself, okay? If anyone asks, you heard nothing, and especially not from me. I'm gonna ask about the uh, the physical training or whatever the other option was. 
Yeah, about physical training. Oh, you're interested in training too? Perhaps we should find a place to do some sparring on one of my days off. Although my role in the Millileth is mostly an administrative one, I still prefer to stay fighting fit when I can. That's why I often take odd jobs and involve physical labor. A little extra muscle mass where it counts does wonders for one's appearance, don't you think? Indeed. All right, so yeah, let's just kind of poke around and see if there's any like treasure chest, anything hiding up here that I would want to steal. I mean, get my hands on. <laughs> And then uh, we'll see what other quest shows up. I'm only about an hour and 40 minutes in. So I have plenty of time to start something else up because I'll go about four hours. Feels good being uh, this far in, this early in the day. Local time is only 18.05. I started a, a bit earlier. I used to do my streams early on at uh, 15.30 for the first, like, shit, for the first, um, I don't know how many months. And then eventually I moved them down to four, uh, or not, fi uh, not 15, uh, 17.30. And then uh, I moved them down to uh, 16.30. And then here, after, I don't know, for the last long time now, I've just been very sporadic, and it's good to be getting back onto a proper schedule. So I don't see anything up here. In that case, what is that over there? That's bugging me. There's a thing floating right there. There's there's the, the god place, the Celestia place. That's clearly, like, not an actual 3D model. It's too far away to be a 3D model, so it's part of the skybox, essentially. But eventually, we should be able to go there. I want to just head this direction for a bit and see what this thing is. It's floating here. Slight detour. Oh. Oh, jumping down from the Jade Chamber. Hey! Okay, good. It wasn't, uh, my wings weren't coming out. So yeah, that's a separate instance, basically. All right, these guys want to fight. I might be able to avoid them. just a little too close to too close for comfort but I think they're going to uh, ignore me this time right, we got a bit of a climb here <sighs> nice sunrise Guyun stone forest over there Beto's ship good stuff so I really like that ending to that uh, quest line. That was pretty cool. It was a long movie with them fighting that uh, that boss before we actually got involved, but that was really cool. Um, so that was like more of an in-game style. And I, I really like that. Like it's good kind of like epic climax stuff to a quest line. Um, not what I expected. I mean, I, I think I made a joke about like destroying the Jade Chamber again. And then it's like, oh no, we're actually going to use it to like go fight and stuff. And... Ning Wong was like, yeah, I'll just destroy it and we could do it again. We could build another one again. Why not? So, kind of could have panned out that way, but I don't think they wanted to make us rebuild it again. Um, so that was cool. But then the opera thing was one of those movies where it's it's like very stylistic, very artistic. And I, I like those quite a bit. We saw a bunch of those in the Summer Quest line where we would finish up with somebody's uh, quest and we would get... Are you gonna wake up? No? Good. We would finish up with somebody's quest line and we would actually get a... Um, uh, yes, right. We get like a cool stylistic movie kind of breaking down a little bit of their lore or whatever, the, whatever it was at that moment. Um, but I, I really like those, very, again, very stylistic. 
They know what they're doing. I think I know what I'm looking at now. I don't think there's any reason for me to go all the way there. I could do it. But I think I know what that is. There should be a bunch of like platform things you can climb to get up to it. It's been so long, I, I, I mean, I don't 100% know. Ooh. Just very sudden weather change there. Okay, we're almost... Almost here to the ground. Definitely gotta land before I run out of stamina. Still not 100%. So what I'm thinking is there's like three different mountains and you like you like pinpointed some puzzle things from them or something and it... I, I, I don't even know. I might be wrong. It's been so long since I've done the puzzles around, uh, around Liyue and the surrounding areas. Yeah, so there is a... You know, here, we'll take this. This should put us a lot closer. And... Oh, the sun's out. Oh, um... This meteorological transformation is most splendid. Like a felicitous twist of fate in the face of certain doom. I love it. I had to let that line go. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking it was. So we could actually warp even closer to it. We need to take the other one, I believe. Yeah, there's like a cool little thing on there. It's a little bit difficult to get to, but once you get up there, there's like a, a thing you can do to teleport. Or not teleport, but like in a wind tunnel. Or... Oh no, yeah, it is a wind tunnel. And then I was going to say, I think there's some little, like, platforms that, yeah, you can jump on. Just like that. Might as well commit to it. Spend all that time trying to get here. One of the highest points in the game that we can access right now, that's the Jade Chamber. There's, um, Dragon Spine. It's probably a little bit higher. It's very satisfying. And knowing that we could just jump off of this and go all the way back down to the ground, no loading or anything, I love it. So the unexpected guest we can't do. Complete other quests to continue. Complete Taurus Iracundus Chapter Act 1 and Imperatrix Umbrosa Chapter Act 2. Here's Imperatrix, Imperatrix Umbrosia. I don't see Taurus. So probably this would be the next main story quest. Talk to Catherine and Inazuma. Something about the sacred Sakura. I created Seven kilometers. And founded paradise for Let's start flying. I'm going to commit to this just long glide down just once. We're going to warp. Like, we can't actually get to Inazuma without warping there, so. Just enjoying the scenery for a moment, that's all. Also, it's interesting to see how much we can glide. So, we were about seven kilometers away. We're not even going to get half a kilometer, I don't think. What am I immune from? 
Oh, is it something down there? Yeah, there's something down there that's immune from something. I'm not sure why we're seeing it from here, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Boom! <laughs> we went about 400 meters. That's ridiculous. That's about 400 meters. We go all the way down here. What's the best place to teleport? Right there, perfect. Alright, let's see what this quest is about. I doubt we'll beat it in 2 hours and 15 minutes, but um, might as well get started. It's going to be one of many that I have to do to catch up to the current like plotline and be ready for Sumeru. I doubt I'll be ready for Sumeru by the time it drops. But, got to make progress while I can. Progress. I said that in a strange way. I forgot how to speak. Ich vergesse. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Recently, the Adventurer's Guild has received an unusual commission, and after careful consideration, we believe that... We should do it. The most suitable candidate, right? Who's this dude? <laughs> Indeed, as ever. I will spare the pleasantries, then. May I ask if you two are available to help? Uh, of course, that's what we're here for. Well, let me go over it briefly. Our client for this job is the Yashiro Commission. Apparently, Rift Towns are attacking the roots of the Sacred Sakura and no! Mount Yogo in great numbers. Those guys suck. Rift Towns? On Narukami Island? Those are the guys that, uh, that do the poison. The, I forgot what they call it. Corruption? Yes. We are not sure where exactly these creatures come from. But this time, they are attacking in alarming numbers with great aggression and a clear target. The sacred Sakura is of tremendous importance to Inazuma. I trust you are aware of this already? I believe I understand. Good. Then you can see that this case is very urgent indeed. Is the Tenryu Commission aware? Yes, and they are already taking action of their own. However, given that the Sacred Sakura's root system is vast and complex, and faced with the unpredictability and scale of the Rift Town's attacks, they are finding it difficult to defend against them. Their main priority is to protect the civilian population, so they are actively looking to cooperate with all other available forces to eliminate the monsters. Like us. The Adventurer's Guild is one of the key parties assisting the Tenryo Commission with their work, but so far, the combined efforts to combat the Rift Towns has failed to substantially ameliorate the situation. I don't know which... I, I think I like the second line more, but I, I like this. Time to make some whelps yelp. Or I'll send these pooches packing. You have our deepest gratitude. Your confident response puts me far more at ease. Pooch is a funny word. I like it. I will mark on your map the areas where Rift Town appearances have been recently reported. I hope you won't encounter too much trouble overcoming them. Nah, we got this. We strong. Hearing Paimon say that was a bit strange. Alright, transient dreams! Let's go. How far is it? Where is it? Eh, it's not bad. I'll just go on foot, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? Is this one of the islands that's always like stormy and there's like lightning hitting you all the time? I can't remember. Ooh! Okay, it's not Zaley, it's Seely. But I see a Seely. Ah, I'm so used to saying Zaley though. Oh, maybe that's why I never got that one, because it's trapped. Well, I may be able to get myself in there. Ooh, this is a problem. It's been so long since I've been to Inazuma. Since I've done things here. I don't remember what the different, like, things that I'm supposed to do are. Yeah. 
Like, will this let me walk in? Electro gra uh, granum level is too low. It's insufficient. Okay. So I just can't do it. Then that's a, just do it later. You're out of luck for now. No, from that far? Stabilize. Nerd. I was juggling that dude. All right, let's uh, let's go find out what's going on over here now. Ooh, I remember this forest. We had a what a quest here. I forget who it was, but it was a nice, like, touching moment. Very wholesome moment, I remember. You know, they just did a rerun of uh, Yoimiya. And I forget who else they did the rerun of. But Yoimiya... It just came to mind because I guess she's still active right now on the banner, but um oh. But um, Yoimiya being part of the Inazuma quest line and all that just came to mind And I really like some of the stuff we got in her quest line. I, I don't remember everything, but I think I remember liking the, the resolution of it quite a bit with the fireworks and all that. Like the festival. As always, these are things that I've done like a year ago, basically, so I'm not going to remember everything. Nice. No, good. No. Oh my god. I'm trying not to bring the shield back out just because I'm being lazy. But I'm also trying not to take damage. Just taking damage sucks. <laughs> uh, let's cash in this mining reward before I forget. These guys are amusing. They're um, like tanukis or whatever, right? That's the Mar that's the Mario thing, the tanuki suit. I think that's what those actually are. A bandana. It's the best reward I could have possibly found. I, I like all the fox imagery and stuff here, too. I make it no secret that I love foxes. I like all foxes, but my favorite are finnick foxes. They are criminally adorable. You better not get me killed. This has happened before, so I'm going to be careful. Okay, we're good. Uh, you got your corruption already going. Bunch of jerks.
Man, these are like the toughest enemies in the game so far to me. Because they get through Zhongli's shield and they still they just tear us apart with that corruption. Who's gonna come save us? Uh-huh. Raiden Shogun. Shogun? Wait, no. Could also be A. Yeah, that's right. So A is actually within the uh, plane of Euthymia, and then the one out here is Raiden Shogun, but they're like the same person, but not. Hmm. It's you two. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Tenryo Commission Crisis. So the subtitle tells us that, it, that it's A. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? You sure made short work of them! That was amazing! What are you doing here? I'm making early preparations for what is to come. A big event? Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. It's probably healthy. Makes sense. You must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. Might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself. Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. I considered this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. It doesn't seem like a matter needing the Archon's attention. I disagree with that, but we'll say it anyway. The Shogun rather than I were to discover them. Yes, perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Hmm? Why? Because she's just a puppet? Precisely. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the Tri Commission. But Rift Hounds attacking the sacred Sakura. <sighs> It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. A disaster? Yes. Five hundred years ago, a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. Everything was engulfed in a pitch-black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost, and this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. Is that rain scripted? The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil. And the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. 500 years ago, Conria. Hmm. So you've heard of it, too. That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you, it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. But an excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Guess you can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. From the traces they've left in the surrounding area, there should be many more monsters nearby. All of them must be eliminated. Let's go! Paimon feels so safe when we're in Ace Company. Having someone uber powerful on your team kind of makes you feel invincible, doesn't it? Oh yeah, after we've dealt with the monsters, we should ask her to tell us more about Kanria. Cool. It's like blood. Tree blood. Alrighty. So let's see. Um, I want that. I don't really care about anything else right now because I want this. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Well, whatever. We'll fight these guys anyway. Oh, 
winter shall we eventually come. I was thinking those were the um I was thinking that was the Electroculus. Not the little things that just let you zoom around. But this, on the other hand, is interesting. Okay, we hit this. It, it moves the next one, I believe. So if I hit this... Yeah. So what I need to do is move that to number two. This is on a one. This will move both of these. So then this moves. Hmm. Damn it. It moves both of the adjacent ones. So I need... I need this. And I need this. Yeah. I'm a puzzle genius. Good luck doesn't discriminate by clan. Oh god, this climb is gonna suck. And I'm being impatient and I'm like darting around, so I'm just killing my stamina early. That's how you live life on the edge, right? I mean, if you do a climb and you have no risk of falling to your death, what's the point of doing a climb in the first place? This domain. Okay, so we have another one of these, but some of them may be broken. Okay, I see. Everything is lit up, but they need to face a certain direction. I see. So... I want to do this. How is this going to work? So if I turn this twice, this will be... On the other side. Not really where I want it. Because I need it to move over by one. Oh, I can't. Okay. So, turn this a couple times. Oh, they just need to face that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. Looks like we're not going in the domain. Let's get this. What is this? Sakura Bloom? Yeah. I don't really know what I need them for. Like, it's probably for a character's upgrade material or something. That's why I collect them. Solidify. You know who I... No, I think I started to level her up. I was going to say Yaimiko. But I think I ran out of uh, relevant upgrade materials. Ooh, there's an Electroculus over here. may be related to this uh, oh, the puzzle. Oh, um, this 
meteorological transformation is most splendid. Like a felicitous twist of fate in the face of certain doom. That's why I like Fischl. So extra. Um... I, I, but I like how she catches herself, like, oh, wait, 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 I broke character. Can't do that. Right, oh, oh my. It's a uncomfortable looking angle. Alright, where is this Electroculus? It must be underground somehow. There is a locked puzzle here. Uh, maybe not. Oh. Destiny has brought me hither. Cool. I'd really like to find out how to get this thing while I'm here, but... Question. What about... Oh, wait, what about this thing? Is there a timer? What's happening? Destiny has brought me hither. It's like, don't be stuck. I'm trying to climb. I was about to say, I wonder if it could be up here. I mean, it could, but we're not lined up correctly, so it's not. This is like right here. Yeah, this is one that I'm not sure about. Probably we'll have to come back to it later. I think this is one that I cheesed by shoving Oz through the door. Alright, well, going back to the uh, quest at hand then. Enough of that distraction. I got rewards for it, it's fine. Why do you want me over here? Like, I clearly... Did I not spend enough time at the, the tree blood stuff? I, I'm here. Not sure. Look for the objective. Dude, it was right there. Oh, now it's where... Okay, yeah, something weird happened before. We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. gonna get knocked out at sleeping gas. Oh, who's this? What's this? An illusion? Is someone injured? Could they be dead people? It wouldn't be the first time we'd seen ghosts on our journey. But why would they appear here? Let's search the area. Perhaps we will find out. Uh. Uh. I can't go on like this. Not when the other troops are counting on me. What happened here? Could you tell us? Who are you? What are you doing here? Run quick while you still can. The monsters will be back. And once you're in their sights, I'm telling you there's no escaping them. What if this is from 500 years ago? We will defend Inazuma until our dying breath. Now, what exactly happened? 
You... You don't know? Inazuma is engulfed in darkness. Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere. They're merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path. Every last trace of humanity's existence, I tell you. They'll devour it all. But, look, none of that seems to be going on around here. Not right now, but they'll be back. Look, get out of here, now. There's no time left. The Almighty Shogun is gone. So is Kitsune Saigu. There is no one left to rely on but ourselves. I don't know how long we can hold out for, but if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left at all. Don't worry, I'm right here. It's the Shogun? Yep. You're back. Please, we beg you. You have to help us. You have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness. Please, or the whole of Inazuma will be reduced to a hunting ground for the beasts. Calm down. The war you speak of is over. Over? But what do you mean? You're Shogun. dead. Look around you. The grass grows green and lush, and a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma at peace, as you will no doubt remember. There are no monsters, nor is there anything else here that could threaten your life. What? B but how? Just moments ago, they were everywhere. But you're talking to a god, essentially, so you could just, like, deus ex machina that whole thing away. And say, oh, you did it. Cool. I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm down. Everything's fine now. Huh. I think I understand. Almighty Shogun, you saved Inazuma. <laughs> yes, we were right to place our trust in the Almighty Shogun. As long as the Shogun is with us. Inazuma will last for an eternity. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's wrong with him? Is he disappearing? Just the same way he got here, yep. Paimon can't even begin to understand what that was all about. But somehow, Paimon feels all sad and hopeless. If I am not mistaken, what we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. Don't ask how that works. The sacred Sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. After the Rift Hounds attacked, some of this filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. But when purified, it presents in the form of a memory. Again, don't ask how it works, because we get an explanation immediately. Purified filth quickly dissipates, and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. In other words, it cannot exist for too long. The same thing happened to Dusky Ming. So the memories of the ones that died are all appearing at this moment? Yes. That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now? was precisely the disaster that happened in Inazuma 500 okay. years ago. This may be me not having played in about a year, but I don't know what Kitsune Saigu is. That's not... That's not Yaimiko, is it? Because Kitsune is like a fox, and Yaimiko is associated with foxes. Um, I'm just going to go with the Shogun here. Well, actually, I'm covering it up, so I'll, I'll actually reveal for this. Yeah, he mentioned that Kitsune Saigu was absent. I'm gonna go with the Shogun one here. He mentioned that the Shogun was absent. Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were local in origin, while others... <sighs> others came from the now-fallen kingdom of Kanria. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late. 
Otherwise, it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend, Kitsune Saiku, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. I could tell that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. So, Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. Alright, so obviously not Yaimiko, and I don't know how old Yaimiko is. I feel like she had some, like, uh... She's not just a normal person, I don't think. She said she has a fox form or something, so... I wouldn't put it past her being super old, but, yeah, I don't actually know. Um, I'm wondering, then, it, these rift hounds suddenly became much more interesting to me because they could be associated with maybe the cube god. I don't know what the cube god, you know, who that is or anything, but they could be associated with that. They could be associated with the overall downfall of Conria. There could be... A lot of interesting things that start to develop around these rift hounds. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Hey. Is this the loss that Yaimiko mentioned? Yes. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. All my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time, powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. <sighs> After my clash with human ambition, I thought long and hard. Now I realize I cannot fixate on the past forever. So you're no longer stuck in the past? When I traveled around Inazuma with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. A glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. Just think of that soldier. Despite all the losses he had experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forward. Look at the green screen. When I do that, it freaks out. It's over here. Yeah. Whatever. Just... odd. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future. But perhaps the future they were hoping for is not the eternity that I once strove for. That's what being human is about. As Inazuma's god, it is high time I honored their wishes. Warriors of the past, who spilled your blood on this land. Your noble souls now rest in this earth. I will never forget you, and all that you did for Inazuma. He's taking all this pretty hard. <sighs> Come on. Let's keep investigating the damage to the sacred Sakura. Let's do it. We gotta follow more blood. I'm just going to call it blood. I think she called it filth or something. This is still going to bother me. I think I want to put a marker on the map. We'll put it like right here. And maybe I'll come back later and work on that. Expected 
Oh. There are a load of Rift Towns here too. Where? Leave them to me. Ah, here. Illusion shattered. How y'all gonna just dodge everything? Nah, stop that. Eat Booba Sword. I was about to say though, this is cool. Just play as Raiden Shogun. Now I have Raiden Shogun, so that's cool. But if you don't, this is your opportunity to use a character that you don't have. Uh, we'll save Booba Sword. Because I sense that a large dude might show up next. So I want to have the Q attack ready. Nope, not yet. Huh? Something seems wrong with A. Are you feeling okay? Yes, of course. Why would you ask that? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one go! No? You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. Ah, makes sense! Spoken like a seasoned shogun! The roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. We definitely need to tell the Yashiro Commission about this. Hey! The same light is leaking out again! I was gonna say it's an interesting way to explain why the fight is much more difficult when you're playing as Raiden Shogun versus when you're watching a movie and she literally just, yeah, kills them, you know, uses her god powers. Is it the same situation as before? And Geist! <sighs> Furuyama? Is that you? Why are you blindfolded? Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. Fighting a battle in a distant land? Sounds like this guy's talking about 500 years ago, too. Allow me to introduce Furuyama. He is a tea master and a member of my retinue. Though blind, Furuyama is unparalleled in his ability to appraise tea. He brews some of the very finest tea in all of Inazuma. Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune to be in Your Excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. It sounds like the Almighty Shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. But please, sit and rest. After all, it's quite a mess out there. Um, what should we do? Um, let's go along with what he says. Oh, um, yeah. Sheesh, there's monsters everywhere out there. It's pitch black and loads of people have been injured. I see. So, they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So, I decided to stay. And now the almighty Shogun is here, I have even less reason to run away. <laughs> Imagine if this was something that even the almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve. Where could I possibly run to then? That's a weird question to ask, because he literally just gave the answer, but how come you're not panicking? People flee out of a desire to live on, and the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. I thought his answer was like, well, the Shogun's here. The Shogun's going to save us all. But Never me, mind. I have no such thoughts, and I have no regrets. The almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her stories. Ah. I've been blind for many years, but her vivid descriptions took me on a splendid journey to all the most beautiful places in Inazuma. 
Over time, I've come to understand her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart. A true dreamer. One thing she always says is, good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. And so, people must make the most of the life they have, seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts, and have no regrets in the end. No regrets. Uh, this doesn't fit the definition of eternity at all. Well, 500 years is a long time. I think what may have happened is the events that happened 500 years ago is what pushed her into that mindset. So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life and have no reason not to be satisfied. Perhaps you are right. It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity. I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the almighty Shogun rebuilds it anew. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark now. But to me, it went dark a long time ago. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survived until then, I'd probably be a hopelessly befuddled old so-and-so by then. <laughs> so, never mind, eh? Eh? And there's actually another thing I want to... Before it happens, if it's going to right now. Um, I was being a little facetious in saying it's an interesting way to explain the discrepancy of, like, why is, why is she not as powerful when I'm playing as her versus when it's, like, a movie and stuff. So that's a little facetious, like it, it's nice to have that explanation, but I think there is going to be more to this idea of like her not feeling well. They've, I mean, they've obviously set it up, and I think it's just going to have to do with uh, like reliving these painful memories is probably taking a toll on her. Oh, goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. The almighty Shogun comes to visit, and I don't have the tea ready. A truly egregious loss of decorum. One moment, I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. Hmm. Can't see a tea set anywhere around here. Really? But it's always been right by my side. Goodness gracious, what a fool I'm making of myself. We know where to find a tea set. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. That would be most discourteous indeed. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Almighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? No, no, no. Your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. This place is... complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. But... Well, okay. I never thought I'd see the day that I need the almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. <laughs> I'm still not convinced. Okay, no, we are going to collect it. the most urgent thing to do right now but at the same time this lovely old man from 500 years ago has been through so much and it makes Paimon so sad I'm also feeling very nostalgic for his teeth oh why don't we go to the Kamisato estate there'll definitely be a tea set we can borrow there okay um yeah I I wasn't quite sure if we were going to have to fetch it or not. If we were still just kind of playing along, or... Uh, if we were going to actually have to do it. And I'm lucky it let me do my wings there. I didn't let my stamina regenerate very much. It's 
So what if I shoot this again? Okay, yeah, it's fixed now. I was like, how do you know if you're done with one of those? I am also aware I could have warped over here, but it's not terrible. It was like 400 meters. It's not too bad. So there's one thing I'm curious about. It's this sunken island right here. Still haven't found a way to get down there, and I don't remember. I think it was actually tied to a quest that I had started doing. Or it's going to be tied to another main quest, so I'm not sure. But... I seem to remember doing some quest that was like a very long, multi-part thing. And I never quite finished it. I feel like that's what it was actually tied to. In fact, just to confirm, I'm going to take a look at... Oh. Random Electro Whopper flower. Well, you done messed up, buddy. Let's take a look at what quests I have. See if I can figure out what it was. It was a side quest, so it was one of these. Actually, this might be it. Five seals in Kanomiya. That might be it. I kind of feel like it is. Liu Su, the Heiyu Tea House. Yai's Publishing House's invitation, but it's 6.6 6 kilometers away, so it's actually not here in Inazuma. Very interesting. the Traveler, and the Almighty Shogun. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, sure. I'll fetch that for you right away. Uh, please step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. Ah, and the tea set. I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Actually, I'd prefer to spend this time chatting with the Traveler. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. Uh, no, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Was it really you that that tea master used to serve? Right. Paimon wanted to ask that too. The almighty shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. Oh, okay. So, in the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister. Raiden Makoto. I didn't realize that um, the Archon, maybe this is something I've just forgotten, but I didn't realize that they had shifted roles. Um, her name was Bale. I don't know if they're going to say it Bale or Ball, but that was her name. He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. You and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. Oh my god, it's Griffith! Dreams, or in other words, ambitions. They are similar, but not identical. Are we going to hear about the bonfire of dreams now? When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. This 
Somewhat shook me. Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Wow. There sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It is something innate, rooted in instinct. <laughs> in other words, it is something eternal. That's... Uh, quite a lot to take in. To put it simply, Makoto wasn't concerned about outcomes. I didn't understand at the time. How can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. It seems more in line with how humans view the world. Yes, it does. I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive, arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusions she did. But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegantly simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? I don't know, maybe maybe the idea is if you're going to rule over and, and lead humans, perhaps you and you're not a human, so your ideals might not uh, coincide with, with human nature, for instance. Um, perhaps she's viewing it in, in a way that, well, we need to make sure that our philosophies are in accordance with our subjects, not us who work in completely different ways. You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity. But now, I no longer cling to what was lost. Almighty Shogun, I found a tea set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. You are too kind. A humble servant such as I does not deserve the gratitude of the Almighty Shogun. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. <laughs> Let us return. We ought not keep Furuyama waiting too long. Yeah, so there should be some innate difference, differences, if I can talk, innate differences to the nature of a human versus a, a god, an archon. Right? And trying to rule your subjects, your human subjects, in a way that makes sense to the innate being of an Archon, it doesn't really jive with the innate being of humans. That That's what I'm kind of gathering from that. So the more far-sighted look that Bale had, or Makoto, the more far-sighted look was to recognize that. That's That's my interpretation. We'll probably hear more. But that is a more mature view than just saying, well, no, I'm a god and this is how things work for me, so my human subjects have to live this way as well. That uh, just ends up being somewhat oppressive, which is what we actually saw in, in the past with the Vision Hunt Decree. It was a very oppressive regime that Raiden Shogun, that A here, was running. Whereas Bale or Makoto, I thought her name was Bale, um, but she was able to, you know, understand and try to develop laws in accordance with human nature. Hey, where'd he go? He wouldn't have gone looking.
looking for a tea set himself, would he? Wouldn't put it past him. <sighs> or perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long. As was the case with the memory we saw earlier. So so we won't get to drink his tea? I'm I was actually curious about that from the start. Like, does he have a corporeal form that allows him to actually interact with a tea set, like a, a physical tea set? That's interesting. We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. Oh. <laughs> the information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. <laughs> Cheer up, Paimon. Well, this chance won't come often, and we do have a tea set. Perhaps I should try my hand at making us a pot of tea. I've watched Furuyama brew tea on many occasions. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. A brews a, pot, a piping hot pot of tea with the tea set. The tea is ready. Please give it a try. So many thoughts were racing through my head as I was brewing it. I... I'm not sure how to explain it. It's just the memories flooding back in. You're right. But the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. I've been reminded of many people, too. Kitsune Saigu, Makoto, and all the other friends who I watched pass even further back. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably light-hearted. But now... I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. Certainly. The events of 500 years ago not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saiku, they also took Makoto away from me, for good. Okay, so we're gonna learn about this now. So I had to double check something. But let's see, okay, we're good. She died in that disaster too? Are, are we gonna get another name for her? Because it's Raiden Shogun and Raiden Makoto, but Shogun is not her name. Yes. I'm not sure. She went to Conria alone, without telling me. Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them in her stead. But this time, the circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. Or... Perhaps, it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realized what was happening... Makoto had already... Yes. It was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point. So all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. Why did she go to Conria first, and not I? Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed completely, and brought it back to Inazuma. That's quite a story. When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount Yogo. The tree that you know as the sacred sakura. Appeared? 
That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well. That it had existed since time immemorial. They were so matter-of-fact about it, and couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. Right, so... It, um, retroactively existed throughout time, but you are outside of that branch, essentially, so... From your perspective, you know that it didn't always exist. No one questioned it. And yet, its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. It seemed as if I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. In the end, I simply had to accept that it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's consciousness. With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, I was finally able to overcome the monsters and quell the disaster in Inazuma. This is all really hard to understand. Kind of beyond Paimon's level. Uh, simply put, Makoto's power somehow made that tree appear. Yes. She had such a great love for this land and for its people. In this respect, I still do not compare to her. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. Facing the fact that she is gone is unbearably painful. But even the tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. And it's time I came to terms with it all. It seems like you've done a lot of thinking about this already. Have you seen my brother before? Brother? Hmm. I had heard that you were looking for your family. You mean to say that he was somehow involved in the Kamria disaster? Based on what we've learned so far, it seems so, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the whole thing. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. What about the cube god? And also, my mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Inazuma and the fate of those closest to me. Wouldn't it be sick if we found out that she fought the cube god? So, I am afraid I can't help you. Oh, well, that's a shame. But it can't be helped, I guess. Um, I know this game is Chinese, but that phrase it can't be helped. That shows up a lot in Japanese media, um, like anime and stuff. It's a very, to me, it, it's a phrase that I associate with Japanese I don't know, culture. Uh, I guess like the language. It always, it, whatever it is, it gets translated this way. What's up, Tim? I'm doing excellent. How about you? Both of you have experienced great tragedy. Trying to get through some of these quests that I missed out on in the past, like, year. Catching up a little bit for uh, the Sumeru stuff. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the Tea Master's memory. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. We should go. Let's keep following the traces. All Here right. Based on my investigation so far, I believe this next pack of monsters should be the last. Oh, <laughs> am I weeb? Uh, maybe. I've considered my, like, I've called myself that kind of, uh, I don't know, jokingly, facetiously is the word. Uh, but I don't really, like, keep up with a lot of anime and stuff. I, I like it. I just don't really, I have too many hobbies, too many things that I like doing. Um... And I don't really have time to keep up with a lot of that stuff, but I do like it. I'm a fan of, like, anime and stuff. Whoa! The dude's booking it. I guess we'll summon. I, I think it was hinting, like, hey, we gotta, gotta take the ship? Yeah, okay. 
Where's this little guy taking me? NY Revolution? Have, have I heard of that? Is that like a convention or something? I don't know. I go to, um... Speaking of that, I go to one, uh... Here in Texas called a Classic Game Fest. And, uh... Oh, Nya Revolution. Okay. I go to Classic Game Fest in Texas, and they actually have a lot of anime stuff there. Um, even though it's not really anime focused, it's like half of the showroom floor, like with all the uh, merch boots and stuff, is like anime stuff. Just because there's a lot of overlap between the two. Yeah, actually, um. There's so many things I want to, like, watch, anime and otherwise, and the main reason that I don't is because of how much time investment goes into, like, watching good series. I like watching a good series, but it's such a time investment, and it's a very active time investment, because if I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna watch, like, a big series with, you know, dozens of episodes or something, I want to pay attention to it. I want to enjoy it. I want to learn about the lore or whatever. And that requires a lot of active viewing. And so many of my hobbies are very active, like playing guitar, like writing code and everything. So it's very hard to justify yet another active hobby. It's like every once in a while I'll sit down and watch a series, but it's so hard to, uh, to justify it, basically. <laughs> that that is true like if you get a good eula um yeah you wait what's that key for interesting uh you get a good eula you just like just wreck shop you try to use the the alt and it's like yeah it might attack people it might just go to waste i rarely need to use it to be honest Skyward Pride Eula? Is, that's a, a weapon? I don't remember. So the backstory is that I played this game a lot last year, and then right after, like, 2.1, right after the plane of Euthymia and all that, uh, I didn't really play until a few weeks ago. So it's basically been almost a year uh, since I had played. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to catch up on a lot of the stuff that I missed out on. And ultimately prepare for uh, Sumeru, which is still going to be a lot of stuff for sure. So there's going to be a lot of things that I just straight up forget. <laughs> or there there may be some things that I missed out on due to like uh, limited time events. to good use. I think Sumeru is going to be interesting. Uh, you look like a pair of stout hearts. Save me, please. Yeah, I guess that's what the key is for. Um, this game like scratches a very particular itch for me of exploration. Like, rarely has any game made me feel so satisfied with exploring and like checking out a new area. Um, so it's just like, almost like the Todd Howard meme, like, see that mountain over there? You can climb it. But this game satisfies that so much more than Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I love Elder Scrolls, but it doesn't satisfy me the way this game does. So the idea of, like, a whole new area unlocking here in a couple, like, a week or two now, I'm really excited for that. And I know it's just going to suck me in. I'm not going to want to do anything else but explore Sumeru for, like, a full week, basically, non-stop. Alright, what's this guy... What's he up to? Finally, someone's here. Please, kind souls, get me out of here. I've been stuck here for several days now. Um, yeah, let's go. Hey, stop right there, stop. C can you guarantee this won't hurt me? Not at all. Oh, come on, we're gonna save you first. Everything else can wait. No, don't. It's, it's too scary. And you don't have to be so reckless. I know where the key is. And you didn't think to tell us that first. You didn't ask. And if you're here to help, you should listen to what people have to say, at least. The key's in that tree over there. Just help me get it and open this cage. See that glittering over in that tree? That's where the key is. 
I'll thank you all properly once I'm out of here. Hmm, you threw it pretty far, huh? How'd you end up in here? It's a long story, and this isn't the place to chat about that. Get me out of here first, and then we'll talk. Well, bro, I already got the key. Don't I? No! I got a metal key. This is cage key. Uh, where was it? In the tree? Where? What tree? Which tree are we talking about, buddy? What should be, like, up top? Burn them? <laughs> like, burn these? Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay, let's take a look, like, down here. Ooh. What is this? Ah! Missed it. Okay, let's navigate slowly. Use up all my stamina. Nowhere to rest. If I could get on that cage, that would actually be pretty nice. Shove dirt on. This is going to be a little bit tricky to do. I could always go in the menu and eat food, but I'm too lazy to do that. I would rather spend more time climbing and failing than opening a menu. And we're going to have to do it, yeah. <laughs> I tried to actually jump off and not jump to the side. Okay, where did, where's this tree this guy was talking about? Because I didn't see anything. What do we have over here? Another metal key. So we have multiple metal keys here. We know there's a cage key. So I'm curious what the metal keys are used for. I don't see a... Maybe that? There's a chest in there. Right. Bye bye to that guy. Yeah, so we got one here. I can put these to good use. And... I don't think I even need a key for that other cage over there. Alright, let's climb back up here real quick. Take a look at it again. Yoink. Alrighty. Again, I'm just... I'm not sure what the hell this guy was talking about with the tree. He's like, the key is... There's a shiny thing in a tree somewhere. Is it over there? <laughs> I, I don't know. This guy's weird. Time to scout. Here's the thing. Oh, is it a uh, Sealy's in this one? Oh, damn it! And I screwed up again. I'm terrible. It's these. Um, that one doesn't. Get, okay, here's another key. Perfect. Yo. Oh, I think I have seen that before. I forgot about it. It's the sky butthole. What's the sky butthole doing? Let's get to that, um, Seely, not Zaley, Seely. Let's get to that thing. Check out what it, it's probably just going to get me a chest like they always do. I need to, yeah, I need to climb down instead of jump down. It's just so slow. Oh, 
Open. Confirm. <laughs> Whatever. That's that's kind of goofy and awkward. It's uh, it's annoying. It's free. I must have to get back up there. I don't like this because they put all these like lips where they stop you from climbing up. Like that right there, it's like a bunch of lips, so you can't climb up over there. You have to take a different route, basically. All right. Take me to the thing. What do you have for me, dude? I can put these together. Not much. <laughs> All right, now we do it one more time for this other cage, I guess. One I screwed up on before. It's just right there. do this without falling. This is gonna... I'm gonna fall if I go down much more. Alright, enigmatic page, but I can't interact with it. Probably because it's locked. Ooh, this is weird. Okay, we can open it from here. There we go. Torn page Toki Alley Tales Prologue. Alright, whatever. So the sky butthole's right up there. I think this will lead us to it. I think I've actually taken it before. Yo, what's up, dude? I think it led to a boss. I don't remember, though. It's been a very, very long time. You know what makes Eula even more powerful is... I think this this is the only 5 star that I have maxed out. It's my lucky day. I have all of her... I have like C6 or whatever, I have all of her talents maxed out. Pretty decent weapon. Zhang Li is pretty good though. He's not quite fully maxed, but uh, I've got his talents in a pretty respectable position. I've got pretty good artifacts for him. I've got... Um, More speed. Oh, what is the other thing I was trying to say? Well, the, the artifacts, he has really good health. Uh, I think I've got him to like Constellation 4 or 5, so he's pretty high up there. Let's see what's over here. How did I get up there before? What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? Okay, it looks like you can climb from over here. You know, or I could just take the teleporter that I've already unlocked. Uh, climb? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright.
Yeah, not much going on over here. Okay. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I feel kind of stupid, but I, I have no idea what tree that guy was talking about because I did not see anything shining. We'll go double check, make sure I didn't pick up the cage key again without noticing. Like I picked up another metal key for sure. And if I don't see it, I'm just gonna move on. I'd rather focus on the uh, main quest at hand right now than uh, this little side thing. This guy won't go anywhere. Oh, there it is! Okay, it's right here. There it is. Perfect. Just wasn't seeing that before. Let's go. Yeah, finally someone's here to rescue me. Thank you, thank you so much. But we can't stay in this place. Let's split up and get out of here. Ah, right. I know of a safe spot. Let me just mark it out for you over here. Just look for me there, got it? Okay, great, bye. The strange person ignores everyone else and leaves. Hey, wait up! Yeah, he's gone off on his own. So rude. The bandits will spot us any moment now. That's true, let's get out of here first, then... Or, let's get out of here first, then. It's weird however you say it. If you hadn't gotten me out of that cage, those fellows would have turned me into a blood urchin. It's Simon Jiro. What's a blood urchin? <laughs> All right, the two of you are outlanders. You wouldn't know our local parlance. It's a very scary ancient method of punishment. A very, very scary one. Very, very, very scary. It's like a blood eagle or something. All right, all right, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Uh, why did Paimon even ask? No, wait, actually, how did you know all this weird stuff, huh? Yeah, why don't you try to guess? Hey! All right. So you're called Shagath. My name is Simon Jiro. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Hmm, that's right. We still don't know how you ended up in that cage. Well, this is a bit embarrassing, but I was just trying to get some peace of mind from my naggy old father. Never thought I'd wander right into a nest of bandits and get myself kidnapped. If not for you, I'd be in mortal danger for sure. Ah, yes, I forget. I should probably give you some reward for this deed. My apologies. <laughs> You're too polite. So, as for the reward... Yep, yep. No, I'm sorry, but I can't give it to you right now. Come on, then why'd you leave us hanging like that? Whoa, no need to rush. Just slow down a bit and let me talk. Well, I... I'm a professional treasure hunter. Professional treasure hunter? Never heard of that. Uh, I mean, I'm someone who looks for treasure for a living. Oh, Paimon's got it now. After some lengthy investigation, I've discovered the location of some treasure nearby. It's just that the treasury gate requires four stone slates to open. Eh? So you want us to run your errands for you. Come, don't be so hard up. If you bring the stone slates to me and let me open the treasury door for you, I won't take a single mora. The treasure will all be yours. That's so fishy. I mean, you did save my life. What's some treasure compared to that? I can't be sure if we can trust you. Yeah, I see. I knew you'd be too kind to take it all. How about this then? We'll split it 30-70. 70 for me, 20 for... What? 20 for you, and we'll give the last 10 to the Ogosho in taxes. How about that? Hey, why do we have to split the loot with the Shogun? You're not making any sense. It's a huge treasure, you know? Even 20% is a sizable amount. And it's better than getting nothing, am I right? Didn't you say you weren't going to take a single Mora? <laughs> that was a limited time offer. You snooze, you lose. What an asshole. This guy. We'll settle the score once we find that treasure. Mark Paimon's words. Cool. Continue the pursuit. So that's a... um. What quest am I even tracking at this point? Farewell to the past. So what's this one that I've been looking at here? Look for the ring, no. Go to the supply station. Treasure hoarders who are behaving oddly, no. I don't even know what that is.
It's like a miscellaneous quest or something. Well, I'll probably stumble across the rest of it one day. I'm going to keep focusing on the main quest. Uh, but first, I'm going to warp over here and heal up. Took a lot of damage there a minute ago. Like, oh, we're still actually pretty close to that. Could just glide my way over there. A little bit of a climb associated with it as well, but it shouldn't be too bad. Except for that whole part where I'm not going to make it all the way over and it might actually be a problem. I should have committed. Now I basically force myself I have to go this way. What is this cave? Let's check it out. Detour! Sidetrack! Uh, what we were told is that there should only be one more place on this main quest that I'm doing. We'll see how that pans out. I mean, knowing this game, that could be another 45 minutes. There could be a lot of dialogue. But we may also be right at the tail end of it. Oh, two of you. There's an electro... Oh, it's not the one I've been going after. You were over here, buddy. I see you. Ah, found him. Cool. What do we have here? This was worth it just for the Electroculus. Now, was there another... another dude? Not seeing anything. All right. Stop being sidetracked. Let's do the thing. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to go through them. I could probably just pop Zhang Li's shield and just run through them, but too lazy. Still curious about this. There's got to be a way underground, because I don't see anywhere else it could be. I was going to say, I guess it could be way up there, but you'd like jump off of the mountain there. Doesn't seem like it. So I guess we may actually run across another memory now that I think about it. Where do we go? Where is the thing? Is this it? No. It should be another one of the, like the blood trail things, right? Ah, here we are. But first, oh, uh, okay, game. I got you, but I want to get this first. Oh, I got you, game. All right, so we actually need to jump down where those guys were at. Hey, I'm right back where I was just at. Except now the quest is telling me to go here, so they all disappeared. Love it. Holy shit, we're going right back where I was just at. Like, all the way. So I would have found the Electroculus anyway. 
Oh shit. Once again, please leave them to me. Booba sword time. Hey, uh, are you sure you're all right? You're scaring us. <clears throat> Fear not. Fighting is what I do best. There is no escape. All right. I don't like that I have no other people to use because I would like to be able to use, you know, Zhang Li's shield for obvious reasons. What happens if I die? Oh, what the hell? Okay, getting our ass stomped. Maybe you should leave this one to us. You don't look too good. I, uh, my apologies. Don't worry about it. Just take a breather and get your strength back. We'll deal with the monsters. I wanted to use Booba Sword on one of the big dudes. I don't know if I call that a light, but okay. Time for another trip down memory lane. What if they help Where us fight? Fujiki? Who are you? Uh, Almighty Shogun, you're here too. Are you injured, Your Excellency? Uh, I'm quite all right. Just feeling a little stiff. We, the Shogunate Samurai, will defend the Shogun until the very end. Come on, man. They're coming back for more. Let's get them. Don't. It's too dangerous. Danger is our duty, man. If we were the kinds to shy away from danger, we never would have taken up arms to begin with. No need to worry, Almighty Shogun. When the situation looks bleak, we will draw on the power granted to us by the gods. Is that a vision? Oh. It certainly is. I know the gods are omnipotent and their willingness to grant their power to humans means they have high expectations for us. If the almighty Shogun is in trouble, now of all times is the moment for us to honor that. So that's how samurai of that era understood visions, huh? An unwavering commitment to resistance. Nobody knew where your excellency had gone and we were starting to despair. But now we've found you. You're right here with us. Just the sight of you appearing before us once more has reignited the hope in our hearts. This hope is the light that will guide us out from the darkness. Everyone on me! We'll help you! Huh? Affirmative, but watch your backs. I just say these corruption guys suck ass. Protect the almighty <laughs> Shogun! Yo, this music though be bopping. It's like I, I see a big one and pull out the 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 Q attack on it. Just kill everything. Love it. Seems like their attacks are finally over. <laughs> I've never fought so fiercely before. Thank you all. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. What is that? I'm fine. I feel much better already. You fought phenomenally. It was truly awe-inspiring. The monsters will definitely come back. And when they do, it'll be more than a few rift hounds this time. Quickly, escort Her Excellency back to Inazuma City and regroup with the General's forces as soon as possible. When everyone sees the Almighty Shogun safely returning, their spirits will be lifted. Well, what are you guys gonna do? We will stay here and guard against the monsters' advance. We cannot afford to let them get any further. We are brothers in arms. 
As long as we stick together, we can face any number of monsters that come our way. No, we really, we have no business disrupting the reality they are experiencing. Just leave it to us. Fighting is what we do best. But the almighty Shogun is the only one of us with the power to change the present state of affairs. Only Her Excellency can turn back the tide of despair and lead us onward into the future. No matter what kind of threat faces Inazuma, we will always place our faith in the almighty Shogun. Oh. Thank you all very much. I promise you that I will create a bright future for Inazuma. I should not have left it this late to make this promise. But from this moment forth, know that I shall be true to my word. Don't worry, Your Excellency. We will never doubt your word as long as we live. Ooh, that's awkward. With you leading us, we will claim back everything that Inazuma has lost. Glory to the Shogun. Glory to mankind. Oh, wait, wrong game. They're gone. Was that a promise to them or... See, this is like... Or a promise to yourself is not a line of dialogue on its own. That's an incomplete statement. The full statement is, was that a promise to them or a promise to yourself? It was both. The people's sacrifice has always caused me immense pain. But in dwelling on the tragedy, I overlooked their splendor. The grief blinded me to how brightly they shone in their final moments. The result being that in the centuries since their sacrifice, I have dishonored their will. You could take the view that whatever I say to them is meaningless because they are but disembodied memories held in the ley lines. But even so, they are due a resolution. I owe it to them and to all the people who have placed their faith in me to date. Well, Paimon thinks that even if it's a few hundred years later, you're doing right by them now, and that's what counts. Thank you for your comforting words. But this is my basic duty as Inazuma's Archon, and I have neglected it for far too long. I used to think just like that samurai, that I was first and foremost a warrior, and my only duty was to face whatever challenge came my way. But what Inazuma needs more than a warrior is someone like Makoto. Even though I am utterly unlike Makoto and can never become the person she was, I still need to do the things that she would have done. Humans are worthy of your trust. Yes, they are. They are strong and resilient and have much to be proud of. As the Raiden Shogun they revere, I should not be the one to hold them back. Well said. Sounds to Paimon like you figured things out. Mm -hmm. Change will come to Inazuma, and with it, new possibilities. This will take time, but eventually, the future will bring healing to the scars of the past. So I've realized something about the questing, and, and I'll point it out after this, but I, I think I know what quest I'm going to do next and how I'm going to do it. No matter how long it takes, I am committed to bringing this to fruition. This is my promise. Now that we've dealt with the Rift Hounds, this matter is halfway resolved. It does not appear that the threat will escalate for the time being. I will leave the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions to handle the follow-up work, such as investigating the origins of this incident and tending to the root system. Alrighty then, let's move on! He looks calm on the outside, but Paimon bets her emotions must be all over the place right now, huh? She seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. What's wrong, eh? Come on, keep up! 
And she collapses. Oh. Hey. What's going on? Are you feeling unwell again? My body. I can't move it. So, in the fight, I wasn't able to move. And I actually questioned at that point, was that something that the Rift Towns did? Or was that, like whatever's happening to A. Or a combination of both. Was it a way to force me to take more damage in the fight? I, I, I mean, again, that would kind of be a combination of both. Just to kind of... Like, I almost died. Like, her health was in the red before, and it was very clear they were all commenting, like, dude, you're not okay. It looks like... the situation... is more serious than I thought. We should get you back to the city. No need. She is calling me. The time has come. Okay. Can you help me walk? I need to go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Sure. Why? What's in there? A battleground. One where I shall sever ties with the past and take the first steps into the future. I sense another opportunity to play as her for free. Even Again, I already own her, but in general. Um, so, next quest, and I'm, we're still on this one, but I'm just going to comment on it while I'm thinking about it. So, it's Taurus something, and it just hit me, like, a short while ago, how we do that. So, this says, um, Taurus, Iracundus, Chapter Act 1. And the other one here is Imperatrix Umbrosa, at Act 2. So, we've actually done and a ride in Shogun, an A quest before from here, and this is Act 2. So yeah, Taurus Iracundus is Ito's quest. And that's what I want to do next, but in order to even do that, we have to do Drakina Somnolenta, Chapter Act 1, Warrior's Dreams Like Spring Grass Renewing. So... Drakinas. Okay, so there's gonna be multiple layers. What I find interesting is I actually didn't expect that these were going to be tied to progressing through the main quests, but they seem to be. At least that's what I'm gathering, because this thing here, Perilous Trail, is more chasm stuff. I think that's going to be related to these story quests, so you want to learn let me reopen that. What that tells me now is to do Ito's quest, which is needed, we have to do this first. Um, but we already have it unlocked. So instead of trying to unlock anything else, I'm going to hold my keys for now. Um, we could unlock Kazuha's, but we're going to wait. I'm going to hold my, uh, my one key that I got. And then the next quest I focus on is going to be this one. And then that'll hopefully let me do... Yeah, that's that's all one quest, right? Mm, yeah, so that's that entire quest. So we'll do that, and then we'll do Ito's quest, and then we'll be able to do the chasm thing, and that's going to keep pushing even closer to uh, Sumeru. It seems like that's the path forward, um, because that is an Archon quest, so that's what we really want to be pushing for. Cool. Good to have a plan. All right, then. I've got about a half an hour until I would ideally stop. If it looks like we might be done, like it's going to be a, a close enough, I'll go a little bit over time. But I want to do some uh, YouTube recording stuff tonight before bed. i got to go to the office tomorrow. I am planning on doing a coding stream tomorrow night as well. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I know what I would generally like to do, but I don't know if I'm going to delve into that yet. I might just do something kind of general. 
generic like I did last night. Go to the cave. Let's do it. We're finally here. The entrance should be nearby. It's gonna be like uh, the plane of Euthymia. Is this gonna be uh, Makoto's? Where'd the Tori Gate come from? Are you all right? Uh, it's getting worse again, but it's fine. I'm about to put an end to it all. This is a place I once sealed off with Called my it. own hands. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. Uh, it looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. So you're gonna fight her? What? What's this about? Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? You know who Makoto is, unless you're just... I, I I know what you're saying, Paimon, but that's a weird way to say it. It almost it sounded like she was asking who Makoto is. That looks cool. Follow me. Nice. Ah, it's blinding me. It's too much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It does look a lot like the plane of Euthymia. Look! Look over there! It's another A! We meet again, Traveler. This body is an assistant to the one within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Should the one within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct, don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? I'm here to show you my answer. We are both warriors, and the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the blade alone. Cool. Uh, wait, wait, wait! The atmosphere in here just took a turn for the worse! Uh, are, are you, uh, are you alright now? The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. She cannot affect me in this way. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. I think you've mentioned this before. This is her system to safeguard against modifications to eternity. Uh, Paimon gets that everyone has their internal battles and stuff, but not like this! It's a bit extreme! Hey, showdown with the Shogun? <sighs> Never thought we'd see that day! The rules I set for the Shogun are... No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? A isn't someone who leaves herself an escape route. 
My form is a symbol of supreme majesty in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. It inherits A's pain, the pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. But you, got, you both got booba swords, that's all that matters. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination, courage, love, hatred. All of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Raiden A! Oh, okay. We're getting legit now. You gotta throw Raiden in front of it. Raiden A, Raiden English, Shogun. Even the proud and mighty Oni Maiden was cut down and disgraced. Raiden Makoto. Oh, damn. Never shall it shine as brightly as it once did. Oh, got it. Move a sword. There we go. Shine down. The eye sweeps the land. Continuously attack. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, too late. I was too far away. I was like, let me get away from it. I was about to say, I remember being trained on how to fight Raiden Shogun, Yaimiko. Help, like, teach us. That's been a long time, though. She's healing. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. She, she's Holy damn. Wait, I press Q. There we go. There's a bunch of unnecessary damage. Can I heal? Yeah, okay, good. I was like, I am not prepared to use this character. I'm not comfortable with her moveset because I've basically never used her. Okay. God damn it! Again? Oh no, I thought you were blocking everything again. I was just about to take my hand off of the keyboard and then that happened. So you recovered again. Am I missing something? Or is it just a multi health bar boss? Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, we got her. Just in case it's a movie. Oh, it is. It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? What if the subtitle now says Raiden A? But yeah, we got three different Raidens. Surely the Shogun puppet isn't invincible. In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Then, does that mean this is gonna be a never-ending battle? No, you built a weakness in too, didn't you? <laughs> Maybe. But 
I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. Eternity. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change. And Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last. Months. Years. Centuries. And no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. What will happen to Inazuma in the meantime? 500 years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Now it's your turn. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices. Tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree. So that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. It is about time that I learned to trust them. But can you bear to leave humanity to go alone? I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. So ironically, by saying all this, you're actually convincing Raiden Shogun that you're still upholding the values of eternity. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. But this means that... Pass on my words. A. <laughs> oh shit. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> okay, what the hell? Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? She was making sense, and maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... A has no physical body anymore and has to rely on the Shogun. But this cannot be the only way. Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times, and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. Yeah, Miko's gonna help us. We're not, she might never oh. leave again. We're not about to leave her just yet. Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time. The quicker she gets through this, the better. Is there any way we can cut down how long she needs to spend in there? Or, you know, help her win the fight? Uh... Well, whatever. We can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there. Oh, but we also can't get in there anymore. Okay, well... First, we gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice! Don't feel time on now! Um, okay, maybe if we both ran into it at the same time really, really hard! We need to talk to Yai Miko. Oh, you're right! Paimon nearly forgot about her! Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Who knows if she really understands these consciousness realm playing thingies more than we do, but there's no one else we can turn to! Uh, Alright, up the mountain we go! I definitely didn't forget about her. Oh, we're just here. Cool. Now I'm officially at the point where I'm like, ooh, I don't know how much more there is. I don't know if I want to press on or not, but we're going to keep going for a bit. Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. Yep. I hope you realize kind how of. lucky you are. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. But you're always smiling. That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase, mm, the sheer audacity. Paimon, get to the point. Something really big's happened! It's A! She... She... 
You tell Yaimiko about everything that has happened. Oh, okay, I see. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> Yes, that sounds like A, all right. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why start fretting about it now? This duel is more serious than anything up till now. Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. The second dialogue option was she rushed into it without thinking, but I did not pick that. So you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? Uh, is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! Aha, uh -huh. you're learning, little one. But really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura, and from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there, so you tell me. What was it like? I didn't notice any differences. Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. First things first, follow me to the entrance. Okay. It's literally just right down here, wasn't it? Um... What are you doing here? Oh, right! The kind of a fake treasure chest? I forgot about those. Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. Cool. So, it's abstract, but has a location. But you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. What? Yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. I like how we have the concept in this world of space-time. Specifically, space-time. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. I vote for... T uh, you know, that sucks. <laughs> Fumbling over your words. I vote potato. What? <laughs> All right, well, Paimon, stay here then. You two can go in. <laughs> Paimon, you're not going to abandon me, are you? Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? Yo, she is bluffing. Like, she doesn't want to lose A, but she's just bluffing. Oh, well, if you're quite sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your way. <laughs> Hmm. I say. What is it? Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. My suspicions have been confirmed. By the way, 
Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Okay. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. It's a butthole. I like I'll the phrase abstract space. What I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake and for Inazuma's, please. Bring her back. Rico, you better know what you're doing. We will not fail. That's enough chatter. Get to work. What if they've been fighting for like centuries, but it's like a a, a time dilation thing? Oh shit. Constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Can this be? You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? What did I just say? God, I'm good. All these years? What? This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. You bring honor to the title of Guardian of Eternity. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. I don't know if I said 500 or centuries. I may have just said centuries, but I was actually thinking 500. Just because we had that number earlier, too. Final duel? So you're finally willing to... Stand back, Traveler. Are you going to put an end to all this? I'm going to be the start of something new. Alright, beat her again. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of nations. The energy of Great enough to vaporize the oceans and turn day into night. Look at that title. Makatsu Mitake no Kami no Mikoto. Yo, this music. This music is bumping. Bro. There is no escape. Get the hell away from me. Oh, she be clapping me. I can't. Oh, yeah, she looks awesome. Her outfit's different, right? Oh, didn't mean to zoom right up on her. 
Zooming right up on her pussy. I was just trying to get a look at the outfit. Okay. Yo, this music is nuts. is the end. You have won. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. Muso is like a warrior. I don't know what Ishin is. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me. To encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. That's weird. Look at the subtitles. The previous show is... Is that supposed to be a like a hint like you forgot or you didn't know somehow? Or... I've never seen this before. I don't know why it's done that way. Interesting though. When I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. It was at once a familiar feeling, and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life, and yet her blade brings me closer to her. You have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Huh. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call growth. I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? A little trash talk going on. <laughs> it was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Have you finished fighting then? Like, for real this time? Hmm? Muso Ishin is glowing? Hello, A. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. I just want to get a good shot of that because it looks really cool, but I'm covering it up. I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Makoto? I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. 
I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well, you held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. But... You never mentioned this to me. Of course not. It has to be organic. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. Is it fading? <sighs> I've always oh. felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know how long we have been separated before this reunion, and I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? You admit it. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. But it is you who must take the most important step. that blesses the people in this moment new to the world and yet to be known when to plant it where it shall bloom she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide grant it life eh is this is it really hmm. Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> uh, this time, it really is goodbye, eh? Uh. <sighs> goodbye, Makoto. So it's been a good thousand years. If it's not clear, I'll explain that. After leaving the realm of consciousness and returning to the shrine, you relay everything to Yaimiko. So the A of the present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. So this is something... Okay, this is interesting, yeah. I'm gonna let them talk about it, but it's interesting. No matter what you make of it, it's quite incredible. All of this is thanks to Makoto's power. Her understanding of eternity is 
much more profound than mine. Eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. When you begin to touch on eternity, the concept of time becomes murky. I saw wonderful things inside that place. Time was moving forward and backward at the same time. A place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic. Huh, so that was the turbulence I was sensing. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely to this point in time without any problems. And yet, that sense of disorderliness has now completely disappeared. I don't fully understand yet. But my intuition tells me that the reason for everything... It's that seed. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. You had something to do with it as well, eh? Oh! What is Istaroth? What is that in the subtitles? I know what you mean. Perhaps a higher power really was involved in all this, but whatever the explanation, her solution is what saved us all. Istaroth... At the risk of spoiling... Istaroth. Um... A god with control over time and wind. That's all I'm gonna read for the moment, but... Interesting. But also, why was that not voiced? That was sad. Without the sacred Sakura, Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed up centuries ago by that disaster and the filth. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura, but to me, it has always been there. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there is a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness, but unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? No, but I understand why now. It was because the sacred Sakura hadn't even been planted then. Um, but don't you think that tree looked a lot different than how it does now? The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine, so obviously I get to prune it exactly how I like it. Ugh, now we see who's pulling <laughs> the strings. I'm joking. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. We have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages to thank for how it appears today. And obviously I played my part too. It's fair to say that very little time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. But in that same time, centuries of battling took place on the inside, did it not? Indeed. Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly, you were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, weren't you? Yes, I was. At that time, I could sense A's whereabouts, but I also sensed anomalies in the flow of time within that space. Suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Simply establishing a location was not sufficient. Fortunately, your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined to ultimately help A. So this time, it looks like thanks are due to you. Does that mean it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? We were always meant to be there to witness what was going to happen? Yeah, perhaps this is what the Shogun meant by an inevitability of fate. I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside, so it was a great shock to me when the Traveler reappeared. My first thought was, has a great disaster befallen Inazuma? But it turned out you had come to rescue me. You came for my sake, to help me reach the best possible outcome. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. Hey, how are you feeling now? My body has fully recovered, and the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. 
Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. But I was really asking about your emotions. Have you managed to calm down? After all, you saw Makoto in there, didn't you? I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, of course, but I've made my decision to move forward. I have to say, this has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold all the way back then. <laughs> she even factored my immaturity into her plan. It's all thanks to her that Inazuma lived to see this day. Makoto was brilliant, but A, you made a crucial contribution too. I just planted a seed. Your will and hers were both indispensable. Yeah, it was thanks to everything you did that you got to see her again. That's amazing! The final act might be a simple one, but getting there was the result of countless efforts coming together. Just because the cause and effect ended up a bit back to front doesn't mean you should undervalue the part that you played. Thank you. Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. Oh, come on. You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. Makoto said the exact same thing! <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder, does that qualify me to, maybe, take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? She ain't looking happy. <laughs> She's not looking happy at all. Get the full shot of that. Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. We will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Then, we will give careful consideration to the future. After that, I will abolish the Sakoku Decree. Really? That's huge news! I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. In which case, there is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. But out of those challenges will be born new opportunities. I'm looking forward to it. And is that it? Well, other than my cornea just melting. Um, cool, a dream Sakura. Raiden Shogun, we'll talk to you. We don't have many opportunities to do that, just like this. Oh! Many challenges still lie ahead for Oh my god! <laughs> but I am prepared for them. I thought we were done. It's like, here's five more minutes of dialogue minimum. Uh, well, we'll see. It's 4, 4 14, 23. Let's see. About the challenges. Abolishing the Sakoku decree has a myriad of implications. It would be folly to say that it will be all positive, and there will be no negative repercussions. For example, I can foresee the outside world posing a threat to Inazuma's businesses. These are the issues that I must work to solve. Hey, you're thinking about this all so conscientiously. I've only got as far as wondering whether I'll be able to sell entrance tickets to the Grand Narukami Shrine in the future. <laughs> Honestly, Miko. Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma, but I am prepared for them. About the gaze of the gods. Makoto's gaze was always fixed on the people of Inazuma. I always assumed it was because that was her duty. But now, I see that hers was a gaze full of delight and hope. It was not just a duty, but a joy too. She loved humanity very dearly. If the people of the past deserve the gods' attention, then so do the people of the future. Indeed. 
No longer will I ignore their passions and dreams. Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma, but I am prepared for them. About the centuries of dueling. To put it bluntly, it was constant torture, with no end in sight. Faced with an endless battle, I had to remain focused at all times. Had my concentration lapsed for but a moment, the Shogun's blade would have taken my life. Safe to say, were it not for my previous experiences in combat, my skills would not have been up to the challenge. I would most certainly have been defeated. And through it all, you also had your part to play. Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma, but I am prepared for them. About the damage to the sacred Sakura. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I will be sure to remind the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions of their duties in this regard. It's not only the monsters that I am worried about. I'm concerned about what else might escape from the sacred Sakura. That's a tough one, all right. There's plenty more besides memories held in the ley lines. Since you clearly understand, perhaps you could think about making an effort, too. Damn! Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma, but I am prepared for them. Yaimiko said she was placing her god. Ahem. <clears throat> Yaimiko <laughs> said nothing of the sort. And the Traveler has some nerve making up spurious claims about her while she is still present. Some words are not to be passed on. Trust me, you don't want to know the cost of betraying me. Just think of the things I said to you as our little secret. Understood. What are you talking about? Nothing. Ooh, I suddenly want some fried tofu. Many challenges still lie ahead. So that was almost four work. minutes. Yeah. But I am prepared. I have no other questions. We'll talk to Yaimiko, but I assume it's the same di Yeah, it's the same dialogue, isn't Many it? Many challenges still lie ahead. Just have to make sure that it wasn't a separate thing. Alrighty, so there's something I saw a moment ago. Let's say Sakura Bloom over here. Where is it? Right here. Um, there's a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about. That lasted a lot longer than I expected. But it's fine, but uh, I still want to talk about some of these things before I wrap up. So, yeah, I mentioned a comment about how it's been like a thousand years. That's because it's been 500 years since the initial events, and then due to the time dilation, it's been another 500 years for um, A, when she was just fighting for 500 years, right? So it's been like a total of... Uh, of a thousand years since the events of Conria, at least from her perspective. So that's kind of what I was getting at with that. Um, I really like the whole weird timeline thing here. Basically, just to recap, the initial understanding we had from A was that after the events uh, happened with Conria and everything um, 500 years ago after those events the tree was just there and it's like oh okay that's weird right nobody else remembers it uh, or well actually I should say everyone else just remembers it as if it was always there but A has this memory of it not being there so there's some weird timeline stuff and I said it was like retroactively added to the timeline and she came from another branch essentially. And that still holds up, but, you know, the information we have now is more like she was responsible for placing it there in the first place. So far in the future, basically, and you get into this whole weird dimensional time travel thing at this point, being in that, uh, being in Makoto's consciousness there, um, so far in the future, we find that uh, Raiden, Shogun, and A were fighting all along, and this already happened in the future, if you will. And the way all the timelines get mushed together, when she plants that seed, 
the tree gets brought back like all the way through time and it just all gets mushed together. So I find that fascinating and interesting. But also that means that the Traveler always had a role to play there as well. That presumably without the Traveler, not, like that tree and all those events and everything may not have played out the way they did. And all that happened simultaneously before and after the Traveler showed up, which to me is fascinating. I love stuff like that. Um, I believe there was something... Oh, and, and I was going to say, yeah, what it reminded me of... I see that chest, by the way. What it reminded me of is like a Dragon Break from the Elder Scrolls, where it just completely breaks time, and you get some really interesting things happening. That's a lot like a Dragon Break, where it can uh, retroactively change time in a way that basically no one knows. Some people might have some kind of like Mandela effect kind of false memories, but for the most part, nobody remembers. Let's see. That brings that up to a two. Now a three. Shit. So if I do this, they all move up, and these two move up. There we go. What trinkets lie veiled no! within this desolate plain? What if I don't feel like picking up a dull blade right now? <laughs> I'm just not going to. But I might end up picking up more weapons from this chest over here. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's maybe one more thing I wanted to add about all that, but there was so much dialogue, I've kind of lost track of some of it, if I'm being honest. Uh, so yeah, that might be about it. Um, really, really cool stuff, though. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff that we've seen, like, almost everything we've seen related to Raiden Shogun has just been, like, really, really good. I say Raiden Shogun, I'm going to use that name interchangeably, because that's the name of the character we, we have. But it's really, you know, like three different characters, kind of. So, um, I feel like all the stuff we've seen in relation to her is really awesome. Like, just the initial, um, stuff in, like, 2.0 and, and 2.1, really awesome. And then the events we just got there, some of my favorite things that we've seen in the game so far. By far. I love that kind of stuff, so. Big fan of what we just got. Uh, we'll see next time what Sangonomiya's quest is like, because that seems to be the next, uh, the next quest to push forward towards the main quest stuff, uh, because again, we gotta do that one, which unlocks Ito's quest, who I haven't even seen yet, um, and then that gets us to the chasm, so, where apparently there's gonna be more main Archon quest stuff going on there, so there's... Definitely a lot more in store. Um, again, I'm catching up on a long time of having not played. So definitely a lot more in store. Um, and that's where I'm going to pick up next time, is with Sangonomiya's quest. I mean, we'll do the commissions and all that fun stuff, but basically we'll just jump right to her quest. Also, I think... Wait, where did it go? Here. I think the reason I don't have this, any of these is because there's a, a like a shield here, isn't there? Yeah. Because I, I couldn't help but notice that I there are Electrocula here. Three of them, in fact. And I don't have any of them. So, we'll just get here. We'll mark one on the map. And that'll be good enough. And then here... Let's get these achievements. Resurrection of the Jade Chamber. Defeat Beisht, Avenger of the Vortex, complete the Crane Returns on the Wind. And there's probably another one? No, that's it? Okay. Well, we're done with that. Um, again, I feel like I am just totally forgetting something I wanted to mention. But, I don't know, nothing's coming to mind. I still want to do some uh, recording and stuff before bed. So, I should bounce. These guys decided to fight, though, so we'll take care of them first. Dude, just die! Why is this, like, the hardest fight ever? 
Oh, he healed. Hate when that happens. Dude, oh my god, stop zooming around, asshole. Because I, I drop something down and then he zooms away from it. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I feel like that's most of my outro, I just like in terms of just kind of setting up what's next. So let's do the proper outro now, and I as I usually do, I will say thank you to anyone who showed up today, whether you were lurking, chatting, masturbating, whatever you let's do while you watch the stream. And I appreciate it. Um, I stream almost every day. In fact, I might be streaming every day now. Mondays and Wednesdays are presumably going to be coding streams for the foreseeable future. So um, we'll see how those go. Um, if you are new here and you like the stream and want to see more, hit that follow button. If you are watching this in the future on YouTube, congratulations for being, for being in the future. I hope it's cool. We just got some future stuff here in, in Genshin Impact. So hope you enjoy being in the future. But also go ahead and lick that uh, like button. Uh, tickle the subscribe button and punch that notification bell. Punch that bell so hard it like reverberates and rings. It'll be fun. It'll be cool. It'll be worth it. Uh, also, leave me a comment. All this stuff is free. It doesn't cost you a dime, only a little bit of time. So again, thank you to anyone who showed up. Uh, and until next time, have a good day, have a good night. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, take it easy. Stretcher.